Sick of this nigga Joe already, man. Three. Yeah, Obviously, you know, on that three. list three. before. I was in the oh, Philly, bro. It don't matter. I was in his not it from Philly. It doesn't matter. He's not even from Philly. We talk about native born <laughs> niggas from Philly, bro. Yeah. Um, uh, B dot B dot Nelson said that I gotta go back and check out uh, Freeway Philly. Freeway so, Philly. Yeah, that's what Joe. Biden I like his second man. album better. Free yeah, that second, was, that, really? second, that second album was hard as fuck. Bro. Yeah, Free right. LS. I think that was his best album, honestly. So I'm gonna tell y'all what. I'm gonna go through uh Freeway Philly. If uh if if it gets if it gets five records, I'll I'll bump the next one. But we telling you the one, the second one better though. All right, well I'm I feel try. like free I feel like free at last probably aged a little bit better than Philadelphia Freeway. Yeah, I think okay. so too. All right, well I'll start there. Free at last. But you was disrespecting Freeway and saying He was, bro. I was like, why where is this coming from? I think it's saying Freeway ain't had no good verses. Like All I Well, I, I I take that back. Cause um uh damn, what we do. What we do is still, I yeah, wanna say that's like, top twenty rap verse. Yeah. Yeah, he he murdered that verse. He did. He definitely murdered that verse. Okay. He definitely murdered that verse. Y'all know I go a bit overboard, but I all, will say all the time. I will say I the will say. the Overall, yeah, jackass. No, yeah. he could. No, nah, I, I, I'm gonna go with Amp on this one. You was being a jackass about <laughs> you it. Was bro. Being, yeah, shut the fuck up. Don't get mad at me, bro. Being, I didn't slam the freeway. You did. You was being very obnoxious. I will say. <laughs> you, be, you, be, you be slamming random I, ass. Rappers. I have no problem with that. <laughs> um, Glad you know that. <laughs> but nah, I mean, I give him his credit. What we do was hard. Um, I, I like I said on the podcast. I mean, on the bonus episode, I don't listen to much freeway Philly, so. I was looking at this ass. I got distracted. I'm trying to find yeah, that thing. This, uh, this, this, let me this, do the ass. You go away, bro. You're married. <laughs> Yo, you're, mar- you're a married man now. I don't, even, don't know. <laughs> Fuck off. <laughs> <laughs> I got distracted. I forgot what I was supposed to do. Bro, I was be having bad ass women in his videos though. Yeah, then he got some. I think the last one he had like some legit porn stars in his. Video. For real. Yeah, 
Hey, he be he be posting some good plates too, bro. Like those spot that he posted, <laughs> that he be going to, he taking his whole food. It's all in Chicago. All the places in I, Chicago, man. Chicago has some good ass food, man. Oh, like yeah, one time that goes without question. Yeah, one time I ain't never been, and I know that. One time he had like this beef stew, fucking pasta looking shit. I'm like, God damn, I need that. Where's oh, that yeah, at? Yeah. Chicago? Oh no, never mind. I'm good. All right, man. Chicago is Chicago straight, man. They got some good food in Chicago, and all them places where he's showing the food at, you'll be straight if you go over there. Oh, I was just about to say, is it worth getting shot over? Yeah. All right, bro. That's the yeah. All right, yeah. Man, these, these Chicago jokes ain't hit, man. Read the room, man. Yeah, Joe. Damn. Read the saying. room, man. But yeah, episode. I wear a lot of hats. I don't episode, know which way to wear my hat. That's not out. That's not out. Wait, bro. <laughs> what? <laughs> nah. From supposedly Chicago, you can't wear your hats a certain way. Why are you wearing your hat sideways? Like, I don't. I'm not hoping niggas ain't. I hope niggas ain't wearing like every sideways. Every now wearing, and then, I bump a Ti like, album, man. You wearing like you in a fucking Fairly Odd Parents, nigga. <laughs> Like he Timmy, nigga. Wear your hat straight. <laughs> Stop being ignorant. I've bro. never, I've never worn my hat any other way. Chicago people, either people. straight Chicago or straight people. back. Chicago people. We got a ton of Chicago. I think Chicago is like thirty percent of our listeners. If you yeah. hear this episode, please be easy on Joe. He don't know. He don't know any better. He's been on his podcast a year, but he doesn't have ad- proper podcast etiquette yet. Please spare him. <laughs> Sweet spare. Him. Also, send us a list of those food places that's in the hood, like the best food places. Y'all got in the hood. We need those two. See, this nigga want to get shot. You'll love that one Jamaican one spot that nigga put. Yeah, the Jamaican spot he always goes <laughs> to nigga. in his videos. That he <laughs> always fucking go to. Nigga play. Nigga play. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, what is he never, he never he say, I think he said the name before, but I, I, I he say it all the time. Yeah, but nigga ate a jerk chicken burrito. That's what oh, I'm right. saying, bro. That nigga had beef stew pasta. I'm I like, had jerk chicken, uh, jerk salmon one time. That shit was beyond fire. I had That's jerk crazy. chicken nacho, nachos, bro. So, yeah, we know. With, with, with the fries, you had? yeah, those shit was fire, bro. Yeah. I would never apologize for that. Let's talk about this young lady, man. I'm ready. <clears throat> is it too early? I mean, you jump right into this little shit. I'm like, well, pull up. Hey, man. So, so shout out to the sex workers out here. So what Elf is referring to is uh <laughs> <laughs> I randomly hit this nigga up the other day. I'm like, hey man, the chick that we know is on is on this site selling pussy. <laughs> Hey, you know, you know, I be, I be on the sites and I'm like, I told myself like when I first got on the site, like if I ever see a bitch from high school, like man, I'm gonna hit her up. Uh, so uh, I finally found a bitch from high school on there. And uh, all right, so, I've been knowing this girl since the seventh grade. I know her whole, I know her damn near her whole family and her ex husband. <laughs> like I like the me and him went to the same Merchant Seaman school, bro. Like I know, like I know him. All right, bro. So, I'm gonna ask, I, so when you had, so when you came here uh-huh. and you told me who it was, I was yeah. confused because I thought she was still with bro. No, no, they been, they been in it. He got, a, he be posting his whole new old lady and everything on there. Like he be making shirts for her business. That's crazy. I ain't know that. I don't really follow them like that. Yeah, so. yeah. I just thought it was together because they got like a ton of like kids. Like nine but fucking kids. Once yeah. you have nine kids with somebody, you might as well just stick with them. Surprisingly, in Duval, if you have a if a man has a certain amount of kids, it's more than three. You good? All right. So what's the, <laughs> all right? What's so what's the we derail a little bit? What's yeah. the dating life for a nigga that just got like a shitload of kids? Because I'm assuming like you don't tell. All right. That's crazy. <laughs> that's the only rule. You, that's the only thing you could do. You just don't tell. All right, so if a nigga got nigga, nigga got nine kids, it don't even matter. Yeah, you pretty much like a nigga with one kid. How you hide nine kids? You don't tell anybody about them. You just show one kid or two kids. You say you got three. Hiding nine kids is ridiculous. Just bro, hey hey nah nah my hey look just be like my dad like that that's nigga a kid, ball team, Nah bro. just be like my dad my dad like he he told his new uh, chick that his his uh my youngest sister was his third child and really that's his ninth child. Damn. So that's pretty much easy. Like, make sure your kids are adult, damn near shit. adults and shit. He really not. Bro, that nigga <laughs> counted a third of them. Like, yeah, he, like, he didn't even try. He was like, well, I got my favorites, but that's the one. He only said the ones he fucked with. <laughs> like, he didn't say the ones he did. I almost got respected. Yeah, I mean, you have to, because, like, she didn't, unless she, unless a woman asks you how many kids you got, you ain't got to tell them shit. They might be just trying to beat anyway, so. I don't True know. indeed. Oh, so, okay. I, I can imagine, like, a nigga with nine kids, it'll be like, Cause I'm a nine times out of ten or ten times out of ten, them nine kids ain't living with that nigga. Yeah, definitely. So he pretty much single. He just got Facetime them nine kids every day. Yep. Like, hey, pass the phone to your sister. All you gotta do. Pass is- it to your brother. All you gotta pass do. Pass it to your sister. <laughs> <laughs> That's all you gotta do. All you gotta do is be six foot two with kids. Nah, bro. you <laughs> gotta right past that shit. You gotta, right you gotta uh, get you a Skype account or something, man. Put everybody on the screen. That's all true at once. Yeah, you know what man. Yeah, that ain't, good, I ain't man. playing. Um, 
musical phone and shit. Yeah, she gonna meet my she gonna meet one kid a year. One year for each kid. <laughs> like I got nine. Year. She gonna meet one kid a year after the nine crazy. years. Like yo, you locked in and <laughs> you meet my oldest. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> yes. Watch that nigga because you know he be he he be on it. Watch him. He just like his daddy. Watch him. Hey, y'all let me know if it's still echoing after I just did that. But yeah. He, yeah, he just passed the phone around. The chick, mm-hmm. the nine kids still gonna be with them. Mm-hmm. So, hey man, it worked for you. Crazy. Oh, I almost spilled all this liquor. That would have been bad. Okay. Would have made you clean up with your shirt in it. Bullshit. I probably would have drank it off the table. Yeah, all I probably had. Right. Oh, uh, okay. I'm joking. Let's let's Boy. talk about what we're talking. You know, I was about just this. joking about you doing crack earlier, right? I was just, just playing. Yeah, but what you were saying? <laughs> Let's get back to what we were talking about. <laughs> yeah, so... Uh, I imagine it's hard hiding any kids for that matter, <clears throat> but nine especially. It's hard to hide. At 10, one, you right? ain't got to pay child support, though, so... Yeah, the government take care of you at that point. If you got a what? certain amount, the government yeah, at 10, take care you ain't got to pay child support. Niggas, yo, you just give up your fucking rights. How does that yeah. work? Free pass. If I get past five, it's over. Nigga, you shouldn't get past three in this economy. Yeah, like, I mean, for real, <laughs> like one is hard, nigga. I don't. That's why I'm saying, niggas be having multiple kids. But bro. that's that what I'm saying. Hard. Like, if I get past five, I'm spreading my loins. <laughs> Man, I don't know nothing about these kids, shit. So if you have more than ten, you don't got to pay child support for none of them. Yeah, that's not worth optimum, bro. You can't, you you can't afford ten kids. Yeah, the government steps in and take care. Of. Kate and eight plus Kate, Kate, whatever. Kate plus eight. Yeah, Kate plus eight. That the government was taking care of them, nigga. Whatever the channel they were A and E. Yeah, they should have been taken care of. Taken care of well, they was white. <laughs> oh, Bro was Asian. Okay, he she dipped, was he white. Dipped, he dipped out on the ass. He definitely did. Didn't, and didn't the fuck out. Didn't they did. go through like a? Um, didn't they do like a? Um, like, how did she have eight kids? She had to like fucking. No, no, no. <laughs> lots and lots of fucking. No. <laughs> They they manipulated that. You talking? If I'm not mistaken. Manipulated. Well, I, I want to say. Word. You talking about Octo Mom? Yeah. I want to say. Octo had, Mom. There was no dad for those kids. She she, she went that. she went to the hospital. And did but that I want to say I want to say they had like two sets of twins and then normal because none of them kids like most of them didn't look alike. We talking about Octo Mom? No, no. The, uh, oh, K plus eight. Yeah. I don't know nothing about the K plus eight. I just know they had. I don't show. know about K plus eight, but I mean I don't know nothing about either one of them really. But I know Octo Mom. I know hers weren't natural. The thing that fucked me up. You yeah. can't have eight kids naturally, she, bro. She, she didn't. Yeah, she did that shit that you were saying, but she didn't. She she fucked up because she didn't meet the criteria for the government to really take oh, care wow. of her like that. So what did she end up doing? Porn. Exactly. I yeah. still haven't yeah. seen. I still never seen that video. Have you? I don't want I would, to see I, that. Yeah. I almost seen. It. I, I would have projected. I'm just. I'm about to throw up just thinking about it. I don't want to see that. Oh, okay. Um, I, I don't remember what she. I remember she was what Spanish or something. What was she Italian? She was not a Spanish. Italian. She had dark hair. What was she? I'm just thinking about eight kids coming out of her coochie. Yeah. And I, I want to throw up. <laughs> I want to vomit. Come on, bro. That's biology. You're a child. It's a way of nature. You're Grow a up. Child, Grow damn. the fuck up. Grow up. You're a child. Eight. All right. Now, if I said if I if I said some shit like People that, grandparents have eight kids. If I said some shit like that, he'd be like, "Man, that's problematic." Bro, had you can't be kids. out here talk about women like that. <laughs> <laughs> Nigga, my grandma had three kids. That's a, grandpa- that's a little bit. My grandparents was definitely yeah. fucking. They had eleven. Yeah, I was gonna Thanks. say I know some Fuck people you. that have like eleven. I know a dude that has eleven like uncles and aunts. Yeah. I mean, I mean uh, fifteen. I'm sorry, fifteen, yeah, dude. fifteen uncles and aunts. And so I'm that's like, pretty, that's pretty regular. See, and say. I thought it was weird when it was only like three of us in my mom household. I was like, well, damn, we ain't gonna get no more. Like y'all had eleven, bro. I feel like we be and in short chain. We ain't gonna get. My, <laughs> I want to say my great grandma, my great grandma only had like four or five. Okay. Maybe four. Well, that means she had a job. Yeah, my 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 <laughs> my family ain't big at all. Like you know, yeah, they, my shit not big either. They limit their kids. They my like, hey, look, big. we we finna ball out with, with what we got. My <laughs> shit big as fuck, bro. I can't even lie. Like it's obnoxiously big. Yes. And, and they coons. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Every last one of them. Actually. <laughs> it's just wild about it. Yeah. Every single one of them. We get into that. What, let's talk about this ho ho win. <laughs> Ho-ho. This ho ho, I like Late this. December. It's Christmas. Christmas is Christmas. around the corner. <laughs> jingle bells, jingle bells. So I just happened to be strolling through this site, looking at the new work. Casually buy a pussy. Yeah, just, just looking at <laughs> no, nothing, just nothing looking, out of it. Just door. looking to see if there's any new products on the market. <laughs> and uh, I came across. See if any new ladies out there want a PS5. And I came across. I'm gonna say her. Uh, what's oh. 
Wait, that's crazy. I'm gonna come. I'm gonna say her. What's the name on her? Her uh, alias is Dominique. I came across Dominique. Who we went and to I was school like, up? Yes, we. I don't know if you remember, but she. Let was, me see. Uh, you probably saw her around, but I don't know if you. But yeah, I came across Dominique, and I was like, whoa. That ain't who I think it is. So I went to her Facebook profile and like started looking at the tattoos. I'm like, yo, she got that's that's Dominique, bro. Hey, bro, we don't shame sex workers. I didn't shame it. I was shocked, nigga. Like, yes, sir. but I was shocked. I was like, whoa, she out here selling pussy, pussy. Damn. And I'm like, she that's look what, familiar. And, and and I'm like, that's crazy because her ex husband out here making t shirts and being positive <laughs> and all black. And this bitch ain't selling pussy. And I'm like, bro, he don't support her at all. But I, I maybe that's why he loved her. I don't know. Come over for if a you, little game day. If good you, luck. If you copper, he gonna put you on a t shirt. Oh, right. this is this is one post of many. <laughs> well, she look, I, two, I, I didn't get a I didn't get a chance. She offer all type of special. Two girl, quickie, anal, or I'm like, oh, she the yo. Truth. Okay. First Don't. of all, she's oh she's one definitely lying about her age. Yeah, she's definitely our age. <laughs> she's, she's lying about her age. She, she's lying about her whole damn. That nigga, damn Devin, that nigga Devin said he finna have a rendezvous. No, I'm not. Stop I can't do lying. it. No, I'm not. No, I, before you. You don't want to get put on that t-shirt. Well, no. <laughs> what? It's a Martin t-shirt. Are you right? But um, yeah. The, before you came back in the room, I was telling her that I know, I know, telling Elf that I know her yeah, husband. That's definitely. Like we went to we went to middle school together and everything. I know her husband. Yeah, I met I met her, her husband. Yeah, yeah he I went to high school husband. with us. He, they're married. No, they they ex husband. I thought it was oh, I thought yeah. it was still her husband. Yeah. Okay, bro. See, she got several. Pussy. I was gonna say if she hey. married selling pussy, that's nigga. She was offering mind your business. Yeah. Hey, hey, get hey, out of hey, get out of grown women yeah. business. I ain't have an over relationship. Get out of get out of married I people ain't business. Say nothing. Bruh. I stopped. I just said, this, hey, if they married. This this another post. She was having a flor, freaky Florida Georgia special. <laughs> 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 she was wow. for the Florida Georgia game, bro. Selling <laughs> pussy. That's some real shit. She a distraction. She is a distraction. Bro. I'm like, <laughs> hey, look, look, hey, look how close she is. This ain't her location, too. Look how close she is from us. Hold up, bro. Hold up. Let's break that down. Come watch the game yeah, and right. come get some coochie. Yeah, that's like the shortest distance in hey, Jacksonville. I'm gonna I'm I'm read the description. She said, "Hey." She, she say, bought her money. Hey, she got five kids. She gotta be. Oh my <laughs> god. She say great. Bro, stop saying she got five. Kids. I'm sorry, oh but she do. God. It's it's not. She do. If I hear it again, <laughs> I'm trying to get her some. I'm trying to get her some money up, bro. Like she got five kids. Oh, you trying to get them Christmas presents up? Exactly. And then like the first video I saw was her naked. This other shit is just new. Nigga be like, do you accept toys? Yeah. For your kids. All right, bro. I'm tired. <laughs> How many posts she, she gonna make? She, she got a two. Nah, she got a one. The next post is like a two girl special. Like Let this, me a, see. this a friend. She be mm. a friend. Kind of look like an off brand ass. Like if Summer Walker and uh, no, uh, what's no. we call it had a baby. No, uh, Scissor. No, I don't know what friend. This, I don't. This I don't know what shit. Devin looking at. I think that's this her. One? How much you look at you had? That's not her. The third one is her. That's her. The third one, bro, that's not. Her. Oh. Okay. <laughs> Oops. Wait, tell me. Look at that ass, though. I don't want that. I don't want that. That don't look. That don't look proper. Ooh. I don't want that special. So let's go. That ass look deflated. Let's look at her next special because she been she posting, posting. Bro, she had five kids. You are gonna take whatever ass she give you? <laughs> okay. That's fair. That's fair. That's that fair. is crazy, bro. She got. She got at least six to seven posts on. Am her, I bro. what I'm saying wrong? Uh, I don't shame sex workers. It's okay. I never do that, especially ones we know. This is the most. <laughs> this is the most ridiculous shit ever, bro. I'm gonna just yeah, gonna, I'm not gonna, I ain't gonna lie on that. She like looking for a long term relationship, but fucking, she was like something like a girlfriend right, with no bro. strings attached, a cutie with a great personality. All right, man. Why are you looking for a long term on a porn? Like with, Shayla, on you was ass selling. Victoria and I middle school class, and then this the, this the first one I saw. It's, All right, I had to look at the market because you just said her name, nigga. Yeah, anyways, this uh, <laughs> Good Lord. Shit. You know this nigga, this no nigga cool something shit. else, bro. Hey, it don't matter because she changed her name again. She got several aliases. All right. Look, what that was say? That don't say Dominique. Man, she robbing What that say? That don't say Dominique, do it. Hell no, nah, she a demigod in this one. Oh, my. What is that? That's oh, a. That's nigga, a, I thought that was her belly button. I ain't going to lie, bro. What? I, 
Yeah, uh, you I thought would. a coochie was a belly button. When was the last time you had some coochie, bro? <laughs> Just look at how that's laying no. over that. Is no. there something you want to tell us, Joseph? No. All right, no. <laughs> fucking bitches in their titties. No, bro. Just fucking belly buttons out here, Joe. Nah, bro, that's a big ass coochie. Joe, a fucking belly button. <laughs> That was a big ass goose. Did you not get a part when How we, a titty feel? Did you did you, you not, better not say like a bag of sand? How a titty feel, Joe? How a titty feel? Tell us. You got five seconds. Did you <laughs> tell us? Tell us, damn it! We need to know. This nigga, this nigga act like I wasn't peeking over the <laughs> over the camera trying to see when I said it. I'm fucking with you, bro. But hey, not. But did you not? Did you not hit a part? With, that's what. That's what. A, that's what five, five kids, kids do. Coochie look like. Yeah, yeah, yeah. that's a five, bro. I ain't gonna lie. When I seen it, I you almost know I, spit out my water just now. <laughs> you know how big girls lay down. Water. Like, yeah. I'm not, I'm not trying to be oh, no Lord. kind of way. You know what no, I'm no, saying? No, no. Let it finish. I'm just. But I'm on it. Yeah. <laughs> Let's go, Joe. Tell us. I was just gonna say the belly button kind of flattened out. I don't know. Let me look at that picture again. The belly button flattened out, bro. I'm hold up. Now look. Oh nah. Where the black and white one you showed me? It's above that. You okay. exclusive. <laughs> so <laughs> like, how I seen it? All I seen was that up front, right? Mm-hmm. And then it led into that, so I'm like, okay, she laying on her side. If mm-hmm. that's what five kids does to a vagina, I'm not having five kids, bro. She probably can't even feel that shit no more. That's a wild. Mm. I mean, you can have five kids. Yeah, you got five kids. You ain't gonna yeah. feel the effects. Look at this nigga face. I don't know what face, what kind of face that is. It looked like he confused. <laughs> Personally, seeing this, like her prices can't be that high. You have five kids. At least, like they gotta be like twenty bucks. Like twenty bucks for like even, two hours. I wouldn't even cop her, bro. That should be awkward as a motherfucker. For who? <laughs> Me. Oh, yeah. You you'll be throwing books and wolves in hallway. <laughs> <laughs> you niggas were. Different. And it's so crazy, bro. Because like, I be wanting to hit her. Like, man, you good? Like, why you, you good? Why you out here you doing need, this? <laughs> you need forty dollars just cause. Like, if you not good, come holler at me. <laughs> I can't do it. I couldn't do it. Bro, just hit her up and be like, I'm, tell, about, I'm telling. Like, I'm telling. about to donate the 40 ball. Cause. I'm not fucking with her, bro. I can't do it. I've known her since high school. You know what's funny? I just saw her in person not too long ago at a gas station over on Northside. And, uh, I haven't seen her since 2007. Yeah, she don't look that She don't look that bad in person. And I asked her, I was like, hey, man, how you going through the divorce? She was like, oh, yeah, he's right, good. Another, he, got, he got the kids with him. Another name drop. Yeah. <laughs> what is his name? I don't know. All okay. Right. So I'll say this. The the chicks we went to high school with were definitely wild. There was one that was like getting married to I won't say his name, but a football player um on the team, you know what I'm saying? On on the on the high school team. Mm-hmm. Um and we met out at a club one night. When I tell you Shorty was wilding. And I was asking, like, yo, what's up? What's, what we doing after this? She was like, yo, I would go home with you, but you know my fiance. Who the fuck get married after high school? Or in high school? Yeah, it was, Damn. no, Niggas it was like military? immediately after That's high true. school. Niggas that want to boot. Uh, he was not in the military. Challenger. He wanted the Dodge Challenger. <laughs> he might have had a Dodge Magnum. Wow. <laughs> okay. wow. That was a nasty time when niggas drove Dodge Magnum. That's, that's just a that sexy station, station wagon. It's yeah, just a that sexy was a horrible wagon. time, man. Yeah, Boosie, Boosie, <laughs> Boosie was the cause of that, that shit. Like Boosie definitely was the cause of that Boosie was the cause of that shit. A lot of niggas were 28, so fucking station wagons. <laughs> niggas <laughs> driving a Dodge hearse. I had another nigga, uh, I mean, another chick. His uh, Well, I say another nigga because <laughs> I was going to say his girl. <laughs> so his girl was... um. Trying to highlight me at a club one night, and when I found out who her husband was, I was like, husband, nah. yeah, I was like, yo, I can't do husband this. Husband and fiance are two different things. She right, she was stupid. She know the difference. She should have been getting married. She well, no, one ha- one was a fiance, and then one was a you know husband. Did they ever get married? <clears throat> I don't know. I didn't keep up with that shit. Not oh, anymore. You can add Joe. niggas on Facebook. Yeah, Joe fucked that Joe up. Joe a Wait, did you do it? No, I don't I'm think a he did I ain't fuck neither one of them. You nah, ain't doing nah, anything. Nah, 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 nah. Okay. Nah. nah. Marriage and shit like that, I don't play with. I don't play with that shit at all. That's what's up, man. Glad you positive young nigga. Black men don't cheat, bro. 
And I ain't finna be the cause of, you know what I'm saying? Your shit fucking nah, up. Nah, black women do. I, I I didn't speak on women. Damn, look at yeah, but that's who that's who you care about though. Nah, I, I, I was looking out for the nigga. I say, hey, black men don't cheat. And I ain't finna be the reason his shit fuck up. You get what okay, I mean? Okay, but he wasn't the one cheating, though. She yeah, was. I'm about to say, he's not cheating. Yeah, so yeah, black, but was. I said black But women. I knew that nigga. So, I mean, in that regard, I ain't finna be the reason his shit fuck up. Am I wrong for saying that? Yes. Having a bit of respect I for think a nigga. you don't know what yeah. black men are cheating. <laughs> I think is. you don't know that at all because you did have nothing to do with a nigga. Nah, what I'm saying is that nigga... Wasn't that fault? He was trying to live righteously. Oh, you saying you you would have been the catalyst for him being like, man, fuck these old. I'm gonna start cheating. First off, you shouldn't have been trying to get married in fucking high school any goddamn way. That's I probably I some probably boy meets world. I shit. probably would have been the catalyst to them splitting and her being. She could have just <laughs> or on one of your sites or you could have smashed. <laughs> she probably is. Hey, she, she could be on him. You never know, bro. She might be. Oh, I don't know. Married pussy selling married pussy. Goddamn. I don't know. Hey, look. All oh, she had to do was not fucking tell. She, she could have just not fucking tell. Do you trust women with that? I don't trust women at all. Oh, oh. <laughs> I literally had a woman tell she my me. mother that we was fucking. And I was like, what are you doing? <laughs> why, what the fuck that? are you doing? Hi, my name Brittany. I'm fucking your son. Where the ribs at? Like, it went like that. That's your fault, No, Joe. Yeah, that's your fault, Joe. You no, be. like, I met her through my mom. Oh, wow. And she was like, yeah, I'm fucking your son. I was like, what? At least she was honest. She said it like that. <laughs> yes. My mom came to me and was like, hey, yo, look, I know you doing what you doing. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I was like, what do you mean you know? Because I be, I be trying to be cool. She was like, nah. <clears throat> Old girl flat out told me. Like, That's hilarious. Like, damn. They were drinking or something? Yeah, like... And bruh, that liquor toad? Bruh, I asked her why the <clears throat> fuck she said it. She was like, well, we friends. I thought she should know. You I, we friends? Her? She mean as in her and her and your mom are friends? Are they still they still associated you fucking a cougar? to this day? Nah, I wasn't fucking That'd a That'd have been so cool. I would have high-fived you. But do they still talk to this day? Uh, Every now and then. Mm. Every now and then. Mm. That's wild as well. I never, I never met a chick through my mom before. I don't think I want to meet a chick through my goddamn mom. Well, see, I almost did, but she had two kids, so I dubbed her. That's what's up. My mom, <laughs> my mom. I don't think I was supposed to say. I don't think I was supposed to say. Yeah, I don't think I was. Supposed to say. <laughs> yeah, no, I, 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 was supposed I almost high fived you, nigga. <laughs> 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 I had to, I had to, I had to uh, control myself. <laughs> You got to understand, my mom worked for JU. Then she was a teacher Ooh, at a high school. You know what I'm saying? The plug, like, right around the time that we graduated and shit. So, you know what I His mean? His mama like, had the plug on the hose. Yeah. I College mean, hose? Yeah. My mom worked at a drug rehab place. My so. brother was playing ball at JU at that time. So, bro, I was on the campus nonstop. Like, yeah. I only, I only, my mom had like. Chicks that used to sniff air fresh to come to the cribs so I can fuck with. But, she let them cover the house? Yeah, she was like a mentor or some shit, but they was she, most of them was bad. It um, was like rich. But like, the, Brenda's coming through yeah, again. Please shot. hide the Lysol cans. My brother, he was the realest. When we was jits, he walked out. My mom used to do hair. That nigga walked out in the living room, butt ass naked okay. with a with a rag over his shit. He was like, yo, where the towels at? That's and the right. ladies was just standing there, like okay. the ladies was re, just standing re, re, there. Rewind, rewind. He was trying. You try started this off by calling him a realist, and then you proceeded to say things that was not real. He was trying to. He was trying to shoot a shot. He was like, "Yo, look, I'm at you." Your brother about to get yeah. me too, nigga. Yeah, what is wrong with this nigga? He was a child. He was a child. What's a child? At that point, it was cute. What's a child? Like he was probably less than seven years old. <laughs> what? Like five or six. You know what I, mean? like, I think. What? That, huh? Nigga, what? I will beat Derry ass if he came out. <laughs> well, I got butt covered ass naked. Butt ass naked. Yes. But bro, yes. you gotta think. He see a a room full of women. Like you gotta respect that. That's embarrassing five to your mom. Yeah, she was, to your mom. she was definitely she was definitely embarrassed. Y'all were horrible kids. But he God damn. I mean, we had our moments. Y'all yeah. had a lot of fucking moments, bro. Y'all treated y'all mom bad, God dog. damn, bro. You better be lucky. Your mama got a heart of gold, because I would have just, since y'all niggas in military school, we had more kids. <laughs> what is your mom at? I'm going to send her some roses. I'm sending her some roses definitely, next week. Definitely. Definitely. I feel I told, you. I told, you guys I told, suck. I told you about the surprise part of shit, right? Like, how this not Fuck, yeah, you nigga. Tell me. Damn. No, no, Damn. Nah, bro. no, 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 no
<laughs> I spoke my piece on how my mom presented the shit. All right, I, I slightly. But, no, right. nigga, I heard you when you was on the phone. She, when she called you, I was standing literally right by her and heard everything you said, and you did not want to fucking come. You was very mad about it. I didn't. And, and I'm I, like, I'm sorry. I don't, see, one thing that I like love about my mom, she is definitely like, you know, she allows me to speak to her, you know what I'm saying, openly and honestly. This nigga was mad. I was like, Ma, look. Well, he's always mad. Yeah. All right, that's chill true, out. That's true. I was like, Ma, look. I understand you want me to come over to celebrate my birthday with me, <clears throat> but this like a family thing. You know what I'm saying? You telling me somebody just cooking? That's food. She offering you free food. What's the problem? Who don't want free food? You get you, you get placed out of Nissan's. I don't fuck with. <laughs> I ain't even fuck with that person like that. You know what I'm saying? The way my mom pitched it to me was like, "Oh, she trying to celebrate your birthday with you and shit." Like da da da. I'm like, yo, what? You don't bring sand to the beach? Did you have plans? Yes, nigga. You had plans that night, Joe. Yes, we stepped out immediately after that. Mm. Which so you, mean you had time to pull up then? Come on, bro. You just going to the cigar lounge? Yeah, like you had know, time to pull bro. up. Bro. We Y'all went out, just with the, we went like, out to the bars. Side. Yeah, you had time to pull up, nigga. Bro, the bars don't get popping like twelve any goddamn way. That's true. Well, look at that time, I was staying with my brother. The sun was still out, bro. Part I was it. staying with my brother. I had just <laughs> like I had literally just moved back. To Jacksonville, and I was looking for apartments and shit, right? Mm-hmm. This nigga had 10 bottles of liquor on the counter every day. You know what I'm saying? Like, if one went down, he bought another. Jesus. So, in that regard, I'm looking at it like, yo, if I'm not mistaken, it was like Thursday or Friday night. Keep in mind, you know what I mean? I ain't had no, like, I don't have no obligations. I don't have no reason I can't drink. You know what I mean? Bro, I was finna get slizzard. And my mom called I like send that to you, my father. I've been listening to Joe. <laughs> my mom called like, yo, look, come over for dinner and this and that. It was a weekend. Cause we was watching a, a college football game. It was a weekend. It was a Saturday night. Yeah. Which makes it even more so like, yo, why I'm going to dinner seven o'clock, you know what I'm saying? When I could be drinking. Yeah, she needed another. But the thing she is, needed another game plan. But the thing is, Bruh, but no, the thing is, but she didn't. She did The and, thing, the thing is, it was liquor there that she let us drink. Okay, Some but good why shit would I too? drive thirty minutes when I got liquor at the house? You get what I'm saying? So I, I, I was just telling her like, look, though I get what you're trying to do, and I appreciate you trying to like look out for me on my birthday. Like, definitely, <laughs> she I'm really didn't. Older. She really didn't need to do all that. All she had to do was say, "Come, come over here real quick." That was it. Like, bro, she was like painting this big ass yeah, picture. Mom, if my mom say, come over here now, I'm going to go over there and see you what's going he, on. You think he would have went though if she would have said that? If she, she just would have said, her son. if she just would have said, yo, come over, we got something going for your birthday. You know what I'm saying? If she just would have said, yo, come over, it's the weekend, your birthday coming up. You know what I'm saying? Like, I would have, even if she would have said, Come over. I would have known what she was planning. Well, you fuck, get what I'm the, saying? The way you, the way you went off on the phone. I, I see why she did all that shit. Cause when she no. got off, I was like, man, look, you gotta excuse me. He all right, dick. so let, let me ask this: Your mom call you and say, "Hey, somebody you ain't never in your life went out of your way to say two words to, say one word to, on your own volition, is cooking for you on your birthday." <laughs> When you already made plans, would you go out? Depends if that person can cook. Yeah, they, whatever they, if they can cook. I don't cook, know. I don't know. I've never, I've never in my life been around that person to even see them cook. I eat Taco Bell. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you get what I'm saying? Like, nigga, Trap House Chicken was open. Like, I, <laughs> they know me. Uh, Nelson said Marvin Gaye, Scully, Joe equal hoodie amp. That's funny. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> That's crazy. But yeah, she should have she should have painted that a little. Oh yeah, bit I'm better. problematic tonight. <clears throat> I just realized you got on Scully for no reason. All right, chill out. This little dressed like out. Marvin Gaye for no fucking reason. <laughs> That's always gonna be a classic. It's line. funny. <laughs> it's funny though. I thought the episode was good. Nigga said, "Don't bring Kill back on this what? podcast." He was you know good. what's funny? That nigga called me every week, and that nigga like, yeah. I'm about to pull up to Ario podcast. You know what I'm saying? Okay, I'm he's just, clearly a psychopath. Like, we knew that. Nigga. We knew he was a psychopath. They don't want you. You <laughs> like, told him this. 
You would, yes. think, you would think you would think he's done many podcasts. They got hold like, back from that. That's nigga. funny. You would man. think he, he was not. Usually when people first come in, they be kind of shy, you know, collected. But that nigga, you would I think thought he, that he was good, shit. man. Yeah, I thought that oh, was, yeah. that it was, was definitely. It good. was bad. Yeah, that shit like bro. five hours or something. Yeah, that shit. We was definitely going for a long time. And but one it was thing, nothing but laughs. I say this, like for me personally, like I love it when y'all like make jokes on me and shit. Like Kells, Kells had a, a ball. Like yeah, he, it's like he wrote that shit before he came in the door, bro. Like damn, this shit is spot. Damn, cut a promo, on you, bro. Yeah, hey, I ain't gonna lie. Kells had his night. Kells had his night. I don't know. As soon as that episode dropped, niggas don't ever bring that nigga Kells back on the podcast Aww. again. They want nobody picking on Joe. That's but I feel so like funny. they do that for every guest that's like not Russell, not Malk, right? Not whoever, anybody else. Any female we bring, don't bring that bitch on here again. <laughs> like, All right, bro. That's why you don't see many women on here. Because every time we bring a woman, hey man, that bitch talk too much. Damn. I'm like, All right, bro. Damn. Okay, so we just you just gonna see us three every week. <laughs> God crazy. damn, nigga. I be scared to bring guests on this bitch. Man, we like, ain't no guests on here in a minute. I be scared, nigga, because everybody be talking and they don't like them. Or Joe gonna fight them? Is it? Is no in between? <laughs> nigga, I'm more likely to fight you. Okay. But you fight. The, They've you only seen the me be violent with your ass. No, they didn't. <laughs> they saw when you fought Kel on 300 episodes. When true, you fucked up and shit. Indeed, and when you threaten indeed. Eric a lot, you threaten him a lot. Yeah, you niggas. You threaten like, niggas in the chat. I do be threatening niggas. You threaten a lot of people, bro. I threaten niggas on the bonus episode. <clears throat> yeah, I was listening to that last bonus episode. Y'all got y'all ain't got the Patreon. Patreon.com. Slash. Backslash Ario Podcast. Let him yeah. know. Joe was making me mad, man. With his food, <laughs> nasty food takes. Hey, man, look, it's been established. It's been established. I don't eat shit. Like, like I, I eat the same shit. Stop doing that. Expand your goddamn food horizons, bro. I mean, it's hard, bro. I gotta, I gotta, I gotta whole is stomach. It, is it? Is I, it I'm hard? I'm gonna be honest. Like, I got a whole stomach. But you eat fried shit, which is like the the number one shit you, you probably shouldn't be eating all the time. I probably should. Bro, bro, if a nigga, if a nigga fries some armadillo up without telling you, you probably eat that <laughs> right, shit. Chill out. Dead ass. Nah, I'm just saying that, but that's, that's probably what I happened. I can imagine armadillo look like, looking like some Chick fil A nuggets. Bro. <laughs> <laughs> Have you ever looked at a Chick fil A nugget? Yes. Nah, if I, was, yes. if I was duped, then. Dude, it, it, it doesn't look like they ran over that shit. Chick fil A nuggets look like, weird as fuck. Yeah. I'm like, what? They is, do. I'm so used to they looking do. at McDonald's okay. nuggets. I ain't and gonna shit. lie. They chicken patties make me think they mutated. I'm like, yo, how is real chicken? How is every chicken patty the same shape? <coughs> That's good. That's the same what? Question. The nah, same shape. Nah, dead ass. I be that wondering be that fat too, bro. On the left side, yeah, every time. Yeah, every time. Do. As a person that used to be a Chick Fil A, uh, oh here you go. No, here you go. Fillet dropper. When you drop it in the grill and you gotta <laughs> flatten the meat, <laughs> it All just right. leans on the right side. Right, you're an asshole. <laughs> but what you do is you take the chicken breast. And you know how the chicken breast in the middle? <laughs> yeah. You gotta put your finger through there and flatten it. Excuse me. So that make that spreads it out. Man, stop that shit. So most of the niggas be left handed. <laughs> what? <laughs> He's on the left side of the chicken. I always be a little plumper than the. <laughs> no, it's the right no, side. No, the right side. Oh, the right so side. So you take a Black chicken dick. breast. Yeah. You know how sometimes the chicken breast is folded together. Yeah. You just take your finger and you gotta. <laughs> You gotta like maneuver it through and flatten it. This nigga amp is giving Chick Fil A secrets. That, <laughs> what? That's that's part of the training. When you yeah, nigga. You gotta do that to every no, breath. I didn't. You just take your hand. <laughs> hey man, it's been nigga, some they years. Might, they might sue you for. It's been some years, but yeah, if I go in that kitchen, I gotta work. Clothes in that shit. I got to You don't expose the secret. And then it. <laughs> And then the fryer is like a little cage looking thing. Yeah. You lift it up and you put each patty on. <laughs> you close on. For real? And then you just and drop it in the fryer. Submerge in the <laughs> Yeah. So how they do the how they do the grill chicken? You remember on you remember on Terminator 2 when that nigga um Arnold Schwarzenegger was was melting? Yeah. It's kind of like that. You just drop it in one of those things. I did, I, yeah. Okay, okay, bro. That's a lot. It, of it's weird. a little stick that be like. That nigga said a little stick. <laughs> Hey man, nigga was that expert. Hey, Chick Fil A is a Hey man, I remember one time I had um, it was a rush. I had I almost called this white dude a cracker, bro. That's fair. He, he, <laughs> he quit. He quit because me and the other dude that in the kitchen barked on him, bro. All right, so <laughs> it was rush, it was a rush hour on a Friday night. You know that shit get crazy when niggas start leaving out them rings and rebots and leaving the first clothes. Coast. Yeah. Oh my god, we got a crazy rush line down the street. 
I'm making all kind of patties and shit. <laughs> Bro, I'm, 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 I'm making, I'm breaking records, my nigga. This nigga's doing the thing. Eh, mm, eh, mm, they're eh. like, they're like, they're like, hell, <laughs> hell. We need twenty, we need twenty chicken sandwiches <laughs> out the window. I'm like, bet I got you. <laughs> new, new dude, new dude working. <laughs> new dude working. This is first. It's, they they start him on a Friday, which was a bad idea. Yeah, what? I drop I drop all 20 of the patties. Nothing. It only take like when you drop them in the grease, it only take like five minutes to cook. Yeah, five minutes. I like, all right, I got you. Five minutes. Give me like two minutes to prep that bit. Okay. So I tell I'm I tell gonna, I'm gonna put my right finger, my right thumb in and <laughs> flatten these patties every nigga. I can't feel my thumb no more, bro. I die for this shit. <laughs> okay. that nigga I, had a locked in. I had a technique. I was locked in, bro. So I drop in the five. I like, Y'all niggas that let me know the secret. I like drop in the five. I drop the five. So I turn around. So you know how I told you it's like a little cage that you put the handle through and lift it up. This nigga just started. This nigga done lifted up. He ain't put the handle in right. So when the nigga lifted up and sw- try to swing the patties over to the little prep table, <laughs> this nigga done sling that bitch and all the patties flew out oh, and they all on the floor. Shit. I looked at him. I like, get the fuck out the way, oh. nigga. <laughs> You one of them niggas? No, the oh, other dude was barking. He's like, man, you just fucked us up, man. We like 20 minutes behind now. Yeah, we were screaming, on, bro. He that. quit. He hey. quit, bro. <laughs> that nigga yeah, quit, Yeah, that's though. the only reason to quit, bro. I used to hate bro, fast food when it's a rush hour on the weekend. Yeah. That shit fucking sucks because yeah. you got to go super fast. By the time niggas prepped all that shit again, bro, it was... <laughs> We we got our ass kicked at that point, bro. I told bro to go. I like bro. I like bro. Go up front with the bitches, bro. Go go, go count some money with the hoes. You probably bro. felt bad. <laughs> probably felt really really bad. Yeah, the women felt bad because they heard me call them hoes. I like bro. Go count money with the hoes up front, bro. Damn. I was I was reckless back then. I apologize. You definitely was, bro. I like, apologize. You was a different <laughs> nigga back like, then. Did Amp just call us hoes? That's not the. Yeah. That's I mean, not the first time. Respectfully, no. That's not the first time he done did that. Bro. I was I was literally standing next to him one day. Right, he was you like, love bringing this up. I do, I do, I do. Right, I do. Whatever, we was chilling in the hallway in high school and like we was having a conversation. We was about to go somewhere and then I was like, oh, I'm gonna wait. I'm gonna wait for these hoes to pass by first. And then this I, they, why did I, do I that? remember that was I remember you saying shit like that. I do remember that. They turned around and they was like, he was, they was like, Did you just call us hoes? They gonna point at me. Like, I didn't point at you. Yes, nigga. you did. Nigga, you pointed at me. I, I remember, remember this. That. You pointed right at me. And I was like, what the fuck? I don't remember pointing. I don't think I would you do don't. it. Why would you? I, I remember you pointing at me, nigga. I just looked the other way. Cause like, what no, they gonna you do? Pointed, fight me? You looked the other way and pointing at me. Don't worry, Amp. I'm finna redeem you. Cause I remember <laughs> when this nigga. I thought in high school, I thought Devin was gay, y'all. I ain't gonna lie. Okay. Okay. All right. So we used to huddle up. Ain't no reason on that little corner, right? You say ain't no reason. Ain't no reason to hate gay people. I ain't say I hated gay people. Shit, so, so we going friends on? to this so day. Make you uncomfortable. We friends to this day. I just said I thought you was gay. Okay. I never forget. We was talking one day, and mind you, when we met, that nigga had told me he got his hair braided by a nigga named Bad Bitch. You ain't have to believe no, we've it. We've talked about this plenty of times, right? So we was huddled up on the corner of the hallway one time. And Hold that, on, this nigga psychosis wild in the chat. You know we were talking about on the ball. This nigga commented, nah, her pussy look good in that porn up. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> what? That's funny, bro. That's, <laughs> so niggas have seen it. This nigga at psychosis is a coochie connoisseur. Hey, For tell real. Niggas, That's- Tell the, nigga to, tell the nigga to DM the link to the R.E.L.P. Yeah, Twitter we page, might need to check I need to see it. I've, I've never seen it. I've never if she seen doing it. some things, you know what I mean? Nigga, hey. pussy private eye. <laughs> 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 now what you were saying, Joe? I'm going to pull up the Octo Mom porn. Thank you. So we was talking in the huddle one day. That nigga Devin was like, all right, y'all, I'm finna go to class. And he did a spin move and walked out. I was like, uh. I did that? Yeah. Yeah. Bro. That's crazy. Why yeah, is her porn bro. named Octo Mom? Why wouldn't it be? Uh, That's like a superhero, bro. It's she, a ridiculous name. Is Stop she, it. Is she still doing it? You she, sound like you're shady. No, nah, I'm saying she got several scenes. Is she still... Octo Mom? Yeah, that's kind of fire. I'm saying, bro, why her that's porn? That's a super name, bro. She not, she not. She a Joe, super you, you, porn star. You completely undersold this woman because she got some perfect titties. 
I didn't talk about Opto Mom. You did. You said, I said, you, well, oh, no, you said you would be the one to throw up in your mouth when you thought about it. I just it. thought about yeah. her having eight yeah. kids. I'm just saying from He's a, a child. All right, from a brand standpoint, just name yourself your name. Like, this like a what, what Octo is, Mom. You know what? I never thought to ask her real name. I don't even know what it is. I don't know what her real name I'm is. It's called Octo Mom. Who cares? Yeah, it's Octo. She got eight kids. Who the Kate fuck plus eight. Her? Right. Oh, that, oh, oh yeah. yeah. Shit. I don't. I'm, that's no, two different that. people. No, no. Black people will still. No, that's, that's the same bitch. People? Black people will still call her Kate and eight plus Kate. What was Kate plus eight. Well, right. What you was talking about, just so we could analyze. Well, Octo shit. Mom. Like I said, <laughs> when that nigga did that spin move, I thought like I was like, shit. This nigga, you know, he on the other side. Talking. <laughs> All right. So let's look at because I did a spin one. move. No, bro. The, everything that you told me in high uh-huh. school led me to wow, believe I told you, you three was gay. Yeah, you, three you got your hair braided by a nigga named a nigga with bad bitch. Damn, Joe, he didn't he didn't suck my dick, Joe. He just braided my hair. Hey, yo, what? That's not that's gay. He didn't suck my dick, Joe. All right, is this really <laughs> porn? She's just kind of like naked. I'm not paying for that. All right, she now do got some high titties. Yeah, she do, bro. That's the only good thing about her. That coochie ain't even bad for eight kids. All right, man. I mean, it ain't bad for. I don't know if she had surgery or whatnot. I don't think it get deformed. She, she put some vinegar in that shit. Yeah, I thought she was getting. I think that's a home remedy. Stop. You stop. Okay. I don't know. Stop. Yeah, she's not getting smashed on here. She just like she only got one scene. I don't. I definitely don't want to see those solo shits. Yeah, I hate solo shits. Yeah, it's just not. It's nothing but solo shit. So I wouldn't even really say she not, like. A, who's paying for that? She like a because niggas be calling Drake um, baby mama porn star. She just did like. Yeah, she ain't really do porn. She, she ain't like, do porn, bro. She just kind of like just chill. I don't know. I went count. She did some OnlyFans stuff. shit. Not yet, yeah. to my knowledge. Now she did like some Playboy shit where she was like okay. naked and she just nigga, posed naked. Yeah, nigga, Mars Simpson was in Playboy. That ain't even. <laughs> Mars Simpson was yeah, in Playboy. That ain't even really doing nothing for me, man. You never seen that? Cover? You said it ain't doing nothing for you. Mars Simpson. She was on the cover of Playboy. Oh, who? Mars Simpson. Oh, it's one of our listeners. Definitely no fap to that Mars Simpson. That's you sure? Or he said they said it? No, I'm assuming I'm just doing by numbers. Like me, <laughs> when me and Joe was on here, we said one of our listeners got AIDS. Oh yeah, yeah. he got to think about it. We got seven thousand listeners. Yeah, yeah. somebody got somebody got AIDS, bro. <laughs> and I hate to wish that on you, nigga. It, it's funny. It's just statistics. Because you said the same thing about somebody being racist. Is what I listen. We talk. I forgot what we was. Oh, there's about. definitely a racist list. Oh, definitely. That's cool though, because long yeah. they listening. Yeah. <laughs> I mean. Let me feel your hate. No, let me let me not feel it, that. What? I don't no, know. This ain't, the, this ain't the 20s. Maga Joe. I was just finna say, I'm black, y'all. And I'm black, y'all. That's and right. I'm black. <laughs> All right, let's stop, man. All right, so let's talk about these PS5s real quick. Okay. You mean so, the ones on, on StockX? <laughs> you keep saying that. Stop saying bruh, that. Bro, because I'm just saying, bro. If you want to get No, one, no, stop saying it so other niggas won't buy it before I fucking do. Oh, Chill. Okay. I got you. I, all right, so you going to buy it on... Because when I seen those stock ads, it was like seven <laughs> seventy. It was like almost $800. And a PS5 is $500. Yeah, yeah. So niggas selling more retail prices. That makes sense. Bruh, it's StockX. Have you ever been on StockX? I don't think I'm going to go on there. They sell the PS5 for $700. $200 above retail. Fuck yeah, that. Nah, niggas no, be selling go to Walmart. Ridiculous, like, <laughs> ridiculous. But the price. thing is, the, the, the issue was going on is a bunch of people uh, been selling like they, they PS5. Well, they've been buying the PS5s and they've been getting their order canceled from Amazon and Walmart. Mm-hmm. Me personally, I have not secured a PS5 yet. And I'm yeah. sad about it. Nor so I. And, and, it's, some, two and it's some people that's buying the shit and they like, oh man, we ain't shipping your shit till December. That's a part. Now see, I will be honest to say, that's a part of why I haven't even pursued mm-hmm. yeah. purchasing one yet. Because I have no patience. Like, I know it takes three months to get a hat from Hat Club. Yeah. And I check every day. Three months? Three months. Every day. When you buy a hat from Hat Club, it got to be something you don't really want that much. Bruh, I check every day. All I care about is a Florida hat. Like, that's all I that's all I store. You know what I mean? Now, that, that Joe Fresh Goods, I wear that shit religiously. I just, I just like it. Honestly, I love that shit, right? Mm. But the only thing that ma- I, I hit a nigga up about a um, cap. He had his shit sold for like... I mean, he had it listed for seven and seven eights, and then it was in the description at seven and five eights. So I'm like, yo, my nigga, 
what's the size? Like, that seven and five eighths is mine. You know what I mean? He like, yo, it's a seven and seven eighths. My bad. Like, all right, cool. He say, <laughs> I got tons of other shit. Just go ahead and cop. Like, yeah. All I really want. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. forgive me if I seem so diddy, but well, like you, seven five eight is seven seven eight. That's a big difference. That's a major that's difference. Like, nigga. There's like two yeah, sizes in between bro. that motherfucker. So yeah, nigga, I, I would have to I understand keep you keep my dreads for years. Nigga. <coughs> I thought, I and that's the plan. I mean, yeah, I don't think you gonna yeah. keep your dreads. Bro. Yeah, I don't think he don't. You giving up he already? Don't have any patience? I, 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 all right, so look, look, look. I ain't even get my shit yet. In like, oh, you want dreads now? I think I think that I'm gonna keep them. Like, I think they'll get to a certain length. Yeah, I'll trim them. Like I, I don't think I'm gonna have like dreads down my back. Yeah, I can't see you. Know you're gonna like, like my cow fight. Exactly. exactly. Like, don't I take wouldn't years <laughs> <to have>. <laughs> <laughs> my cow fight. That's funny as fuck. <laughs> but like, I have a target goal. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Where I want them to sit. You know what I mean? And uh, at that point, I'm gonna keep them. You know what I'm saying? For as long as I can stand them. I you know. I, I don't. I know I'm supposed to have confidence in my niggas. Yeah. <laughs> I don't think you're gonna make it because you so didn't either, get to bro. the ugly stage yet. Yeah, you have. When you, you get the ugly stages, you didn't get to the ugly stage yet. All right. So what's the, the ugly, ugly stage? When, when they start they, actually locking. When they start locking and they start getting like down here and they kind of right. drop and they kind of like little yachty shit. Yeah. That's the ugly stage. All right, all and right. you're gonna be in the ugly stage for some months. For some, yeah. 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 So yeah, you as a nigga that had the hair, had grew my hair before. I know it's an ugly stage that you be in for like five. Five or six months. Well, shit. Here's the thing. I don't thing, think you're gonna make it, bro. I'm gonna be honest. As soon as they get of length, like they'll be braided. You'll never see them hanging. Like you'll never see them hanging. Very rarely, unless I can have them plaited down. You you won't see them hanging. I'm, mm. I'm, as soon as they can be braided back, secured, and I ain't gotta worry about them shits. Yeah, you won't see them hanging. I wear a do rag every fucking day. Mm. Yeah, I be do rag Joe. Different. Yeah, let's put some money up, bro. Yeah, let's put some money. Yeah. Up. We should, we should, wait, we should, we should, we should start. We should start a pot. Oh, Everything no, you just God. said was some we bullshit. Should, we, should, we should start a pot to see how long this nigga keep his fucking hair, bro. Right. And like, had a list of had like the Patreon people like <laughs> get on in it too, right, bro. Because I don't think I don't think he's playing the numbers I, I, and shit. I get this. I get this nigga the third week of December. They gone. Damn. Third week of December, bro. I was definitely riding into twenty twenty one with these. No, shits. he not. He not. Right. Not good talk. I was gonna give you till like March <laughs> to be honest. March, nigga. I'm, I I foresee 2023. All right. By that point, we talking major studio, like we talking REOP. I'm signing REOP on women's titties. Okay. Darn. Uh, I don't see what they got to do about hair, but yeah. okay. Nigga, I'm just saying. I'm just, just saying. On a tangent right now. <laughs> hey, <bro. laughs> Back to these PS5. So I just seen this. This was this happened when you niggas was coming into the crib. All right, so Target announced that they've been sending niggas, uh, everybody that bought a PS5, they sent a little note saying, because this item ships, because this item ships in its original packaging, there's no way to hide what it is. So that means Target, they sending niggas shit in a PS5 box. And no over, over bars, just a, it's going to be a PS5 on niggas' doorstep. That bitch have drop you on your doorstep. Nah, nah, you have, you, be. <coughs> have you seen how big that bitch is? Yeah, that bitch humongous. I don't think, they, I don't think it's no box for this. You got to put that shit on a U-Haul box. <laughs> I ain't going to lie. <laughs> when I was in North Carolina, I was getting packages every day at one point, right? Mm-hmm. For months. To the point where I knew my UPS driver, right? Yeah. One day, I had like $3,000 worth of product being delivered to my house. I chased him. Like, I was, <laughs> I was late to the door. And I was like, yo, I, I I made sure, like, I set it up to where it didn't drop at the door. You know what I mean? But I was like, yo, I can't go another day without having this product, right? So, it do. Sometimes it depends on what it is. Um, I know if you buy a TV... They will not drop that shit. They will not leave it at your doorstep. Right. They call you before, like, hey, nigga, we bringing your TV. Bro, I had notes and everything. I was like, yo, call me. Here's my number, yada, yeah. yada. When he ain't do that shit, and I, I, I tracked the, the truck and everything, bro. I pulled, bro, in the middle of the street, <laughs> like, fast and furious. I slung the car. Nobody could pass the road, bro. Wait, this 
I this, was like, yo, here go my ID. Nigga. You got my packages on your, where on was, your where, truck. Where was this at? North Carolina. Okay. That's crazy. Yeah, North Carolina. <laughs> they, they was stalking them down. Oh, trust. I ran a couple of trucks down here in North Carolina. I remember one time I bought a laptop. I paid about 2 k Matter of fact, that laptop right here that yeah. I edited videos for it. Uh, I paid 2 k for that motherfucker. They left that bitch on the doorstep. I was at work. I was like, hey, I'm out. <laughs> <laughs> I, left. I, I drove quit. straight to I drove straight to the house and got that bit. I was like, "Hey, straight up, I'm gonna be gone about 20 minutes. Bruh. Straight up, <laughs> straight up. There's some things you just can't play about, man. Yeah. Like, and I knew my neighbors. You know what I mean? Like I had a neighbor across the way, and he was an alcoholic. <laughs> okay, but I kind of trusted him in the sense. The only thing was, he had to be sober for that five minutes that the, the package was dropped off. Oh, so I was like, shit. That's a hell of a window. Bruh. <laughs> I was like, man. Hey, Joe, you can hand me one of those ski masks, bro. Yeah. Real quick. That's a hell of a ski. That's a hell of a window, bro. So, like, how did you know when he... That's the thing I did. And so, I was Damn. like, yo, I can't trust this nigga. <laughs> so, but, hey, man, heads up. Heads up, man. If you ain't get your PS5 Target, they dropping them on the motherfucking doorsteps. You're gonna see the box. Hey, bro. Get hey. your R.O.P. ski mask. It's that time of year again. Get you one. We one day ship them. You know what I'm saying? It's that time of year again. Hey, hey, get that shit. Hey, get, get, get it. Get it. Get your R.O.P. ski mask. We one day deliver it. Get your steel on. Get you a PS5. And get your family a PS5, hey, we please. We support robbing niggas for PS5s and Xbox 5s. Next gen, <laughs> Xbox, next gen. Five. Xbox Five, whatever the motherfuckers <laughs> call. Yeah, I don't know what the fuck that shit called exactly. Get an Ario P ski mask and get you a free PS Five. Xbox, boom, and and hurry up quickly. Xbox yours, niggas. Dude. Hurry up quickly because the shit drops in two days. Straight hurry up. up, niggas is getting they they shit delivered now. <laughs> I was mad. They shit on stockx. I was mad. I was at work when when they started doing the pre orders. I was so mad. I was at work, bro. I was like, man, fuck this. Well, shit. see, rob a nigga. I've always been one of those wait three months. Yeah, kind of so guys. Get the bugs out exactly. It should still be like that. Even though. even even if it's a uh, a myth or whatever, you know what yeah. I'm saying? I'm gonna abide by that because at this point, it's habitual. Hey, DJ Larry, he said, "Hey, man, y'all bullshitting. I got a Target pre order for real." Mm-hmm. Hey, bro, they said he said, hey, bro, hey, you better we, call out work. We not bullshit, nigga. You better take that day off. You better take that day off. Call out sick, nigga. You got COVID. You need to go get tested. Hey, Larry, Straight bro. Straight up. You don't take that day off, bro. You're going to have a Nike check on your front door, bro. Hey. They're going to kick your shit and go, bro. I got, I just, you better leave the, the key under the mat with specific direction. I will order something overnight just to speak with my mail service delivery. Like, okay, you very dedicated, bro. Oh, bro, this completely. nigga, this nigga, this nigga found one of my packages. Goddamn, CVS. What time? I was like, what the? <coughs> You should even go to CVS. You like, man. I ain't gonna lie. I this this nigga Devin had a package that was supposed to be delivered yesterday, right? And it said delivered on your shit. Yeah, right? it did. All right. Uh, so DJ could, Larry, DJ Larry, say he off, so he good. He good. All right. Oh, okay. So okay. Check okay. me out. You better be waiting. So <laughs> the mailman, that nigga pulled up. He was like, "Hey, you get your package." I was like, "Nah, my roommate. He was looking for it, man. You know what I'm saying? He said he checked for it, but he didn't really see. You know what I'm saying? He was like." Hey, it's in there. You know what I mean? I said, cool. No, the fucking way. I tell you what, I go check. So I pulled up on him again. I tell you what, I ain't got no. This was tonight. I ain't got no problem with pulling up on Clearly. anybody. But um, I pulled up. I was like, hey man, I check. It won't in there. He said, man, that was my bad. You know what I'm saying? Here it goes. I had it. On. So I'm gonna beat his ass because it's the same fucking mail, man. You get your you 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 I get a good get relationship. You give a fuck. You get a good relationship though. Must have never heard it going postal. Yeah, that <laughs> nigga would definitely beat your ass. I <laughs> <laughs> Our mailman is a real nigga. Not if I throw dirt in his face first. I'm gonna tell you what. Let me know he was a real nigga. Pocket saying. Yeah, that nigga got one hoop earring. That's yeah, real. Yeah, killer. He a old, he oh, a old fuck. nigga, bro. He got one hoop earring. Damn, I don't see them before too. I definitely done pulled up on him before. Be like, hey man, you got my shit? And he was like, no. Yeah, all right. All right. That Ooh, nigga, that's fair. The first time, I, <laughs> the first time I, 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 I asked him about some shit, he kind of checked me. I was like, whoa. He called hey, you bro. young blood. I know he called you young blood. He called me something <laughs> of the sort. Right. 
<laughs> yeah, it was some, it was like some Duval shit. Bro. But that nigga was like, "Hey man, look, I, I, I do this rock every day. I ain't got it." Bro, say he if real because he got one earring, bro. That's crazy. I met him at Aaron Neville. <laughs> <laughs> that was like Aaron Hall, though. <laughs> bro. <I'll pass> you. <laughs> so, y'all, so y'all mailman is. They got one of them. That's funny. That'd be crazy, Devin. You order a PS5 and then you see that nigga Joe playing that bitch. Bro. He was like, bro, is that my PS5? If no. I'm not mistaken, the Neville brothers from, from Pensacola. They are? I think so. Let's look up. I think my um my grandfather went to school with them. Whoever sing uh I'm your puppet. Mm-hmm. That shit, uh, the Soul Brothers was about for real. Uh, uh, my grandfather went to school with them. Let's see if Aaron Neville was a Florida nigga. Aaron Neville was from New Orleans. Okay. Wrong. Okay. And they got a sword tattooed on his face. Whoever, like I said. Yeah, he do got a sword tattooed. <laughs> Whoever <laughs> thinks I'm your puppet. <clears throat> Which oh, yeah. I found that to be very interesting. I'm your puppet. Cause, yeah, uh, they say the origins yeah. from New Orleans. Bernie Mac and um, uh, what you call it? Samuel movie? Jackson. Yeah, did that movie. Yeah. <laughs> it's actually a good movie. This shit is a good a, movie, bro. It's a bad movie, it and is. it's bad because they don't like nothing about that was produced well. It's a guilty pressure. I mean, guilty pleasure, bro. Yeah. Didn't they have to kind of like stitch that movie together because like Bernie Mac died before it was finished? And, and also, uh, Isaac Hayes in that movie too, and he died. Oh too, yeah, he did so die. Yeah, he died time. Time. So I was like, yeah. damn, bro, I don't even know if I want to see this shit no more. But I ended up seeing it after it was in the movies. I waited a long time to see that shit. Actually, I never seen that shit a day in my life. It's pretty funny, bro. Like that's what the, you know the term "fuck them kids." It came from that movie because Bernie Mac said the shit. This <laughs> is definitely getting molly walked by a nigga with a Jordan hoop earring. <laughs> had a van and Jordan. Crazy. <laughs> you know too much. You know too much about Duval. For real, you know too what much about you Duval. Havana Joe? <laughs> yeah, that's, hey, bro. A lot of niggas know about that shit. about five pair of Havana, Havana Joes. Joes for the hoes. Man, I did it. My Havana Joes for the hoes. This is another way I knew I was That's old. the only shoe that I can think of that had a slogan for it. You had a slogan? Nigga, uh, Joes for the hoes. Joes for the hoes, yeah. Oh. That's 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 what was said in, in Jacksonville. Like, every transaction I made, I had a pair of gold, gator, like crocodile... Crocodile skin Havana Joes, right? Why? I think I remember that. Joes for the hoes, nigga. What do you mean? Why? Nigga, Every nigga at all. went to a nice cookout. I had a black belt <laughs> with the Kooji fit. Oh, man, you couldn't tell me shit. Niggas at First Coast didn't even have book bags. They just had a Havana <laughs> Joe bag mm-hmm. and put their books in the right, Havana right. Joe bag. I remember the Havana Joe bags. Bruh, yeah. Havana Joes let you know. Hey, you out here. You got money. Them bitches like two hundred dollars. Two hundred dollars yeah, yeah, a I, pop. I, I didn't have money. That I, was before Jordans was. At that time, I could get Jordans for eighty bucks. Before before Havana Jones, it was something. It was called. It was some other brand too. Uh, I forgot what it was called. Uh, it was real big on the north side. It wasn't Havana Joes. I don't know. Only ones that I had shoes that was, about, was that was they had was wallabies, big. but wallabies was up north, nigga. Shit. Not, yeah, not, wallabies, not, not was wallabies. North. They called them something else. Havana Joe's was the closest nigga, thing. Know. No, no, nah. No. It was else. I remember I when the Birdman lugs yeah. dropped. Yeah, it was. It was called niggas something was else. rocking them. Damn, I forgot the damn. Birdman lugs. Mm-hmm. I hate it. Yeah, I didn't have money because my parents got me some hush puppies. And I, I knew, I <laughs> but, knew I was gonna put them in the old folks' home. But I ain't gonna lie, that's what, that's what <laughs> older folks used to say about the Joes. They was like, "Yo, you gotta pay a hush puppies." I'm like, nah, these Joes for the hoes. Maybe you ain't heard. Maybe you ain't excuse get the me, memo. excuse <laughs> me, baby. What? <laughs> What's Joe's what's for the hoes. What's a Joe? Why are you talking to me like that, baby? What's a Havana? Forgive me, Grandma. Excuse me, Grandma. I'm getting bitches. <laughs> I'm getting bitches, Grandma. I got bitches. Yeah. Okay, okay, baby. That's yeah, niggas, okay, I niggas guess. were legit having intercourse with women off of Havana Joe's because yeah, they just knew they had money. Yeah, $200 bruh. shoes, bro. Bro, bro. I had, I had a great year. They just come through with the brand new Jordans on like. Hey, Damn, bitches, y'all, but y'all see my Jordans? It was a, no, it was, but we see them nigga, Joes nigga, over there. Nigga step up with some Joes, yeah. Do that now, though. They gonna think you were going to a cookout. Nigga, we gotta bring her back. <laughs> 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 they gotta bring her Van the Joes back, bro. They still sell them. They ain't going nowhere. They still be selling them at Jimmy Jams. <coughs> at I saw them at Jimmy Jams. Nigga, I haven't been to the mall in like wow. five years. That's though. your problem. It's a, that shit a community college, though. 
Really? Regency, yeah. It's a community college slash church slash uh, uh, Corona uh, Center headquarters. What community Crown college Zero. in there? FSCJ? I have no idea. Everest, I think. I want to say Everest. Everest? Yeah. It turned like, you remember the part where Sears used to be at? Sears? Sears? Where what? Sears? Used to be at, yeah, they turned that to the college. <laughs> you said Sears? Sears. Sears? Sears. I never, mm. do they still, is that still around? That's just not in Jacksonville. It's like what? one of the things not in Jacksonville anymore. No Sears. Sears? That's what I made my son and mom at. She used to work at though. Nah, I don't know. I haven't seen a Sears. I don't think they make them. Do they still make Sears in uh, North Carolina? Because that sounds like a place they would be. Man, bro, shit. bro, I was managing Devin, when your, Macy's. Devin, when your son get old enough, we need to bring him through. We need to have like a crash course of like old shit that. Don't oh even, yeah. <laughs> like, the C son, we had a Toys R Us. <laughs> like, what a Toys R Us? Bro. Yeah, they just had like toys in that yeah, motherfucker. Like just that's it. You can play with the toys too. It was Bullshit. A, the the Toys R Us in Pensacola, bro. The aisles was like. 20 feet tall, nigga. You needed a ladder to get to to the top. And they level. used to let you play with the toys. Yeah, like straight up. Why they be kids and riding the toys? It'd be shit, a nigga, bro. it'd be the sales associate be like, hey, hey, you wanna dunk on this goal? Hell I yeah, nigga. <laughs> but I don't do shit. Hey, you seen them new Power Rangers? I'll take one out the box. Yeah. Nah, they was running like racing cars yeah. and shit. Like fucking we ain't paying for this shit. That shit, <laughs> shit, <nigga, that> shit <laughs> was like Chuck E. Cheese, but for toys. Like yeah. my parents take us there like on every weekend. Like, y'all can't get the toys, but y'all can play with them in him. Like, what the fuck? Okay. I'll take what I can get. Shit, my mom you in Pensacola there was an Eckert's next to a um God damn nigga talk toys. about old. <laughs> fuck. <laughs> for real. And the last Eckert's when I, here, when I moved here, when I moved here, no, 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 it was two thousand. It was Eckers, 2000. That's crazy. When I moved here, when I moved here, there was one Eckers left, and it was on the east side. Yup, and yep. I, used to, <laughs> I used to pass by that shit all the time. <laughs> Nigga and said Eckers, like, bro. Damn, that's a little piece of home right there. This CVS <laughs> bro, right up the street used to be Eckers. Yeah, it did. Yeah, so I think all Eckers turned to CVS. Yeah, I feel like that's. I what don't it know is. what the one in Pensacola is now, because the Eckers in in Pensacola, that's bro, a trap house. That shit was huge, <laughs> bro. That shit was huge. It was like half the size of the Toys R Us, and the Toys R Us was like a castle there. So, bro, <laughs> this thing is so <laughs> retarded, bro. This is a trap. That's a trap, bro. That's, yeah, a, hell of, that's a hell of a downfall. They selling crack out there, bitch. Bro. I'm not listening to hell. I'm not feeding. <laughs> Not now when his objective not in, when his next door neighbor is 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 probably in there selling pussy and we don't know that for sure because you didn't complete the transaction. Just, just because my next door neighbor tried to suck your dick don't got nothing to do with <laughs> right? me. That's crazy. You should have took her off. <laughs> you should have. And she didn't look like a dog. I, nah, I'm married, nigga. I'm. I'm oh, yeah, I forgot you. Yeah, you Who cares? But what you was gonna say? Hell. <laughs> This is some Jacksonville nigga shit. You remember uh, King's Dominion? Yes, that shit was so. I don't know that where that's at. It was. It was. You out, remember it was King's out, Dominion? It was out St. John's Bluff, wasn't it? It was the way well, out St. John's Bluff. Yeah. Well, for one, when I moved out here, we stayed in Arlington, but my pops he worked in Mayport, so we had to go to the beach. Yeah. Quite often, you know what I'm saying. I remember so, that shit was way past DZ DZ Discovery Zone. That shit was way out there. I like. And then when when I got there. We only went once because they shut that shit down like right after. We was <laughs> we was traveling all 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 over Jacksonville before my mom came up. She was like, "Yo, we finna take a trip. Let's just go tour the city." You know what I'm saying? Mm. So I mean, we went all, we went everywhere. Like when we first got here, everywhere. Hey, you know that what? Nigga Joe, like, whoa, ten story buildings. All right, brother. this is what you doing. Yeah. <laughs> Wait, they, wait! They got real electricity, right. no candles. Right. Stop signs. All right, I'm gonna take you to Pensacola, and you're gonna be like, clean water. No, we won't. First of we all, been to Pensacola. first of all, we been hey, first of all, Pensacola is a red city. Yeah, Let's talk about that. Right. They voted. They voted for Trump. Right. What about that shit? Right. We did talk about Let's that. Talk bro. What about that? The What's main, going on that's with that? only cities you supposed to go to in Florida with yeah. all blue: Jacksonville blue, yeah, Orlando blue. Yep. Tampa blue. Yep. Miami blue. That's, a lot of blue, That's the only cities you need to go to in Florida, blue, and they all blue. Explain. Explain. Yeah. Because I told you that shit Alabama in real life. Keep in yeah. mind, I've been out of 
Pensacola is. Oh, then, now you been out, but when we did, when did, we did show shit. Didn't he say Pensacola is majority black? He definitely said that. He said Roy Jones Jr. definitely MAGA. He said his hoods. He said his hoods in Pensacola. Don't ask. Don't be surprised, nigga. I forget. He, did he you did, see Roy he Jones Jr.? Jones. He be at. He be doing speeches at the MAGA rallies. Yeah, he do. So was Pensacola got nothing but like Pensacola he the leader. Pensacola he the, he the, out. He the leader of the black for Trump. Let's not uh, do this, man. You said it's majority black but and it's red. It's not like we lying. Usually we be lying, but this ain't saying that they got. I could pull them numbers. I ain't up. say that them niggas vote, bro. That y'all had a oh what what I ain't what? say that them niggas vote. That's what you going with. That's what you yell aloud for. It's better than saying them niggas voted for Trump. That's what they did. They did. It's a red no. city. That's why it's red. No, niggas. the white folks voted for Trump, bro. They live in Pensacola. No, I could pull the stats up, bro. That's Pensacola, nigga. I could pull the stats up. It was a lot of black people voting for Trump in Pensacola. You <laughs> niggas making me smoke a cigar. <clears throat> they, I think he was gonna do that anyway. <laughs> But yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, it was they, he definitely started the blast for Trump's movement. <laughs> he <did. laughs> that was a, he put them signs up, <laughs> and nobody's gonna take them down because they're gonna get them niggas. Yeah, CT. I'm not. I'm not gonna. <laughs> hey, put some respect on. Roy I think we put those Roy Jones will put them signs up there like say something, little nigga. Hey, I ain't saying nah, nah. He wants to say like say, say, how you talk like say, say say something, little nigga. Say say it right now. Say say it. Say it. And nigga Roy Jones like you voting for Trump, right? Like yeah, yeah. I am. <laughs> you know, I like, but I am not. Put this bag of hat on. <laughs> so I was gonna yes, vote. Yes, Sir, your homeboy be like, man, I was gonna vote independent. He just beat the shit out of that nigga, bro. Like, beat the dog. Hey, bro. <laughs> nigga be running, in, nigga be running into the voting booth. Like, hey, bro, Ross Jones just beat my ass. Can I change my vote? Bring me the whole black guy pressing Trump real fast. Like, nigga, Trump, Trump. Nigga be circling the shit out. Nigga be a hole in the damn ballot. <laughs> boy, Ross Jones beat my ass. <laughs> I can't see, bro. <laughs> <laughs> that nigga be standing That nigga be in a voting booth Like Yeah nigga Republican bitch Standing outside With folded arms Like yeah You you, you voted right Who you voted for <laughs> Nigga, nigga, nigga like, say God damn. I hope you I hope you did the right thing <laughs> <laughs> Roy Jones be standing out I'm like yeah I voted for Biden Boom! <laughs> <laughs> no, you gotta say that and run. You gotta say that and run. Yeah, you got to, bro. <laughs> well, I voted for Brian. Y'all don't understand. I don't even have enough time. This is actually <laughs> funny for me because my cousin being so close to Roy Jones, I actually grew up being scared of that nigga. Like, should be. He's I fighting. thought, like, he used to threaten me with that shit. Like, hey, look, not only will I beat your ass, I'm gonna call Roy. Oh. <laughs> yeah. One ass beat, not enough. No, you gotta get your ass beat by a professional boxer. Did you hear what he used to do to his mama, nigga? That's true. You do need your right, ass beat by out, a professional bro. boxer, bro. All right, DJ Larry, he said, uh, did y'all have KB toys? Did we? we I used did. to steal oh, out that motherfucker. KB we did. Toys. They, yeah, was, they yeah. was clutch, bro. You could I definitely walk out with now toys. Now, I will say, I ain't know about KB toys till I moved I to Jacksonville. steal Pokemon cards. Nigga, nobody knew about KB toys till Jacksonville. <laughs> <laughs> really? Like, that shit ain't global. <laughs> Circuit City. I ain't moved. Circus City. Circus City was big. No, nah, y'all remember Babbage's? No, I don't. Remember Babbage's that. was only it was only in Saint Augustine. How mall. you spell that? Babbage's like oh, bandages, no. like bandages. No, I can end? I can try. I just know what Babbage's. I can literate. attempt to spell it. Bro. How you spell Babbage's then, Joe? B a b b a g e s. That better be how I spell too. Babbage's. Mm. Bad bitches. Spell Come it like on, that. Man. I'm gonna try my best. I put an H in that motherfucker. Let's <laughs> just say cabbage. I got a Babbage. Babbage? I'm gonna stop saying like that. Babbage. Charles Babbage. There you go, Babbage's. Babbage's. I don't remember that. Oh, yeah, yeah I do not, remember not, that. Because not, I remember was, how stupid that my, name was. Was my spelling correct? This is how the one in St. Augustine looked. How did you spell it? B A B B A G E S. Why, why are you yeah. sending the E so low? Apostrophe, yes. Someone instance, emphasis. I mean, e. I ain't think I needed to do. Yeah, see, see how Babbage's <laughs> connected? I think I think all the Babbage's like turn into GameStop, I think. Yeah, yeah, because they go game stop like right by the way. Yeah, that's crazy. Yeah, I think most of these companies that would, like Circuit City shit turned into something else. Circuit City closed completely. Hey, what happened to Kmart? I only know of one Kmart that's still. Thriving. It uh, hmm. it's still it's still some up north. Know. It's a lot up north. I think there's one of them on, on, on the beach. I just, think, I just know about the one on Lim Turner. Yeah, there's only one of them on the beach. I just it's think like places, still over. Yeah, that shit on Atlanta Boulevard, Kmart. right, right before you get to Third Street, like. Probably two blocks before you get to Thursday. Nigga, everything so, we man. had as a kid closed, but Dillard's closed. Dillard's, Dillard's finally closed. closed. I was gonna say That's earlier. Crazy. They didn't want to go out of business sales. When I was managing Macy's up in um mm. North Carolina, I saw like three or four sales closed in that area. Like mm. uh cause I one of my 
homeboys was like a manager of Sears. And his store closed. He transferred to another store. That shit had a closing date. That's and crazy. then, uh, like, he was telling me about two or three in the area that was closing. So, And the one that was uh, in the mall, in the Crabtree Mall up there, closed while I was up there. So. Okay. Last time I went to Sears, I bought pre-lunch. That's that was like oh what oh oh oh. That's why they closed. Yeah. Right, the Devin buying women's stuff. Yeah. It was a hell of a showdown. Shut this shit. Down. Down. <laughs> Shut this. Devin spending yeah. money. And they, I was surprised too. All right, so I had Google Kmart and JC Penney's popped up, which is another store that they closed still down. around though. No, JC Penney's still it's around. Still, it's still a lot around. It's, it's still a JC Penney's in Jacksonville. Yeah, it's still one. The one on, uh, the one on. Okay, the one on Dunn Avenue shut down. I want to say the one in Regency is definitely doing. They've been doing like a six, a six year. Because I've been out of Jacksonville six years. Well, I left seven years ago, mm. right? They've been doing an out of sale. I mean, a, a closing sale for seven years. Yeah, at the JC Penny in Regency. The ones here, talking about they online now. I'm like, I ain't even gonna got them JC Penny online. What the fuck, I look like. Wait, they got some deals. All right, DJ Larry said, "Joe, if Roy lose to Tyson, will you start claiming P- Panama City?" Mm. Damn, that would be really tough. Would it? Because. I mean, Panama City only. You might as well just like you only, y'all, y'all shit MAGA, so you might as well. Like, I mean, I'm like, definitely Duval County. <coughs> oh, you Duval now? Mm-hmm. That's funny. That's crazy because hey, you hey, damn so hey, different. Hey. This the North Side a lot. Well, shit. Hey, hold up. I'm duality. You know what I'm saying? I'm dual. I'm a dual citizen in this bitch. Mm. Mm. I don't trust it. Mm. I don't trust it. That's crazy. I spent the majority of my years. Yeah, remember, yeah um, but you diss the North Side a lot. But, yeah, I don't know why. You don't know why? Yeah. I ain't got good food. Okay. This nigga right. wild, bro. We got a whole Chick fil A over here and a Zaxby's. He's wild. Yeah. They're across the street from each other. I don't get it. Like it ain't 10 of both of them on the South Side. Yeah, but not none that's across the street from each other. Are you kidding me? Which one? Regency. Oh, yeah, that one for Regency definitely be. close to each other. Uh, they, they might as well be. Okay, what's another one? Uh, JTB. I don't give a fuck about the South Side, bro. Exactly. We ain't to fuck that exactly. shit, bro. Fuck the, the one South at JTB side. in the same fucking plaza. Keep in mind, listen, listeners, that's not from Jacksonville. The South Side is Yakuma land. No, Definitely. you Definitely can't is. say that. Yes, you, you can't can. say that. South Side is too big. The South Side is too nigga, big. You got, you got a, you got a drop got queen, of nigga parts. Got queen Harbor. The nigga parts start, start and say, stop at Justina. I will say that it is heavily. South Side definitely not. Yakuba ladies. South Side definitely not. Um, more black than the it's north very side. Safer. Obviously, oh no, it's no, safer. hell no, hell. Bro, no. I grew up the when north I went side on the north. When I went to the went to school on the north side, <laughs> like, I, I legit. I think white folks got a check. Bro, no troll, bro. Side. No troll, bro. I I have not. I didn't go to. I didn't start seeing white people till I went to Wilson. That's I don't true. think I've Damn, ever seen. Nigga. All right, matter of fact, school wise, I'm gonna tell okay. you what. I'm gonna tell you what. When I visited Amp's house on the north side, mm-hmm. when I went to my girl at that time on the north side, yeah. I never saw a white neighbor. We had one white person in that whole subdivision, and they got their house ran in a lot. They had to move. <laughs> they were getting robbed a That's lot. That's hilarious. <laughs> That's funny. But I was just I was just saying, white folks probably got to check in on the north side. And you definitely I, have to check in on I, the north side. I believe that to be true. Nah, white people live in, like, you leave. That's their territory out there. Yeah, yeah. Which is barely even Jackson. I don't even count it. I don't yeah, count. that's barely even Jackson. That's where, but see, that's where nigga Derrick Henry from. But see, to me, like, the, the areas of the south side that niggas be, niggas run that shit. It's Justina all like this, it's all in the same it. area. It's Justina, like all in the same. Yeah. Like Just, pocket, Justina <laughs> Emerson, that's it. Go by Queen that, Harbor. You don't see no niggas. Yeah, true indeed. Yeah, Queen's Harbor, too much money. That's why you don't see no niggas. Right. Unless it's still in work. Ain't Queen's Harbor right like right across the street, like close to Mayport? Right around the corner. It's only like 10 minutes away. Yeah, it's it's probably less than 10 minutes. It's definitely less than 10 minutes, depending on how you go. Just go around the corner to Mayport. (laughs) Chill out. Bro, Mayport far from where we at. So <laughs> I can imagine driving from Nigga, my barbershop, my barbershop, my barbershop used to be on Mayport. That's crazy. For real? What barbershop you went to in Mayport? That nigga. That, uh, um, 
my barber that shot a nigga. Yeah. He's so happy to get kicked out of bar. Matter of fact, now he cutting hair in his house now. I won't lie. Still, it's some real niggas in Mayport. That nigga been cutting hair. He get kicked out of barbershops a lot. Black 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 Shout out I might to need to bring Bar. I need to bring him on the podcast. Shout he out to, the, to my niggas in Atlantic Beach. You know what I'm saying? I don't know no niggas in Atlantic Beach. I don't know. I ain't know it was niggas in Atlantic Beach. Oh, I definitely Stop know it, man. What is this? He, what is he shouting out? He said Atlantic Beach. I Atlantic know. Beach? I don't, I don't think it's niggas out there, bro. It's definitely niggas in Atlantic Beach. Not dark skinned niggas. Yeah, it's surfer it's, niggas. Like you said, it's pockets. It's pockets. Because you got to think. Some Atlantic Blake Beach Griffin niggas. <laughs> Blake right, Griffin right, niggas in out. Atlantic Beach. Nigga, what are you talking Black about? Black Pine is in this Atlantic Beach. Said Atlantic Beach. Black Pine is a community of niggas. It bro. got beach on it, nigga. It got beach on it, bro. All right. All right. What is this nigga shouting out on here, bro? Right, Duval County. Y'all check in now. Nah. Y'all let what these niggas shout? know. Yeah, I let these niggas know. The, the most Duval nigga in the chat right now is DJ Larry. He do about a lot of shit. He from Memphis. <laughs> yeah, he from Memphis. He know a lot about a lot of shit. That's so crazy. <laughs> Why do you know so much shit about Duval, bro? You be Googling right. that shit? He said he learned it from Malk when Malk was on the podcast. Malk is, Malk okay. is the mayor. Well, he definitely is. Since, 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 since Jacksonville, nah, since nah, Jacksonville is a blue city, we we, we set in the presence. We're going to have Malk as the nah, mayor soon. Ask Malk about Black Pine in Atlantic Beach. Okay. I Black community. Now I'm not gonna have a, a West Who's tough on here because I, I'm not saying it I like think that's that. a corny debate. I'm not but saying it like I'm that. I'm just saying. I'm just saying that it is niggas in 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 the beaches. Of that's course. all I'm saying. That's all I'm saying. I'm pretty sure if I'm pretty sure if I go to Justine right now, right now, you get with shot. the time difference. I get my nose wiped yeah, expeditiously. Definitely. Absolutely, they murder niggas every week. Right. Expeditiously, right. if I go over there, right. I'm not about to call any of the side soft. It is what it is. Right. I'm just saying, stop what you're saying. You telling me to stop what I'm saying based on what premise is nah, what you I'm said getting Atlanta at? Beach, bro, Nobody heard of them niggas. That's pretty much what he's saying. Hey, bro. You ain't gotta hear these niggas. That's fair. Because honestly speaking, like niggas that's on the beach don't have to leave the beach mm. ever. Yeah, because like, everything far as shit. The only thing they need, like might ever like have to go to is Walmart, which is on Beach Boulevard. And for them, that's maybe a, a 10, 15 niggas minute drive. I'm about to say Blake the Bortles. closest Walmart for them is Beach Boulevard. They ain't built one up for them niggas yet. <coughs> you would think they would. The beach ain't the beach ain't big. You know what I'm saying? Like Atlantic Beach and shit, it ain't big. Then when you <sighs> extend over to Jack's Beach, Jack's Beach is just overpopulated. It's just with niggas. It's but just overpopulated. I can tell you one thing. It is a big difference from going from Jack's Beach to going to Neptune Beach because Neptune Beach looks now, hella Neptune different Beach than Jacksonville white. Beach. Neptune I don't Beach think I've been to Neptune white. Beach. That shit, Here's how it go. Shit like. Atlantic Beach <laughs> got pockets of niggas. You know what I'm saying? Because you got Mayport and then you got... All of the neighborhoods that sit right outside of Mayport that really ain't major developments. You know what I'm saying? It's a trailer park that sit right outside yeah. the base. Um, and then Black Pine sit five minutes outside of that. Then once you go five minutes past that, you in Jack's Beach. So Jack's Beach is all black. You know, yeah, well, yeah, yeah. a lot of black people, let me say. You, you know, know what I approve Jacksonville Beach? Throughout. <laughs> they sh- Tear down that dumbass Walgreens. I hate that damn Walgreens. Every time I see that Walgreens, I'm like, bro, get that stupid ass Walgreens. Nobody uh, go in this Walgreens. Nobody ever go in Everybody just go in that bitch to steal. Everybody just go in that bitch to steal drinks and go on the beach. That's it. <laughs> That's it. The only time you go there is when you need alcohol. You just go in that bitch like, hey, bro, I'm about to borrow off 10 Gatorades. And just walk out that bitch. Like, I'll bring him back. <laughs> hey, bro, I'm drunk as fuck. Hey. I'm, I'm finna get a water off of y'all ass. Hey, <laughs> fuck that Walgreens. So they ain't used to let a nigga, let a nigga park there. Like, when you you know when it's... You oh, they definitely the be parking. with the bullshit. Man, oh, yeah, they would tell your shit immediately. immediately. Like, we bring y'all business. They had a tow company. Like, <laughs> yeah, like yeah, they, they bring a, y'all business. Yeah, they had a tow truck in the corner. Like, God damn, nigga, I'm trying to help. I'm trying to get y'all some business. Walgreens tow. <laughs> I remember one time I was I was a uh, it was like two a.m. in the morning. This nigga Russell called me and was like, "Hey man, me and Tremaine drunk and our car got told we need you to come get us." I'm like, <laughs> and they called you. Yeah, they called yeah, of me all of people. all people. That's it what was, I said to them. It niggas. was down they was, bad. It was desperate. They was down I was bad. bad. I, was, I probably would have called my parents. I would have definitely. I'm like, them. I asked them I like, why did y'all call y'all? Yeah, uh, for real. <laughs> I was like, why did y'all like, call hey, man, me first? Or bro, arrest me. I'm like, don't call <laughs> me. Not first. just that. I think the the whole taxi drive you home thing has been in place for like ten years. This now. is when Uber first started, so they they weren't really running right, that so many spots. So I will here. say, I will say, before Uber started, <clears throat> yeah. taxis were driving you home if you were too drunk. Yeah, for free. Yeah. yeah. They apparently they didn't know that because they was drunk. Right. And I they just did. Not. I was just like, hey, look, I don't man. know if. They- <laughs> 
I don't know if it's like still the same, but like I remember last time I was in Austin. Austin, they they don't allow Uber. Why? What? They don't allow Uber or none of them little ride shares. It's like against the law there. That's crazy. so yeah. Like, niggas was stuck like Chuck. I was down there downtown Austin. This is the year that none of y'all niggas went. I went just went by myself. Yeah, yeah. yeah, nigga, I was stuck like Chuck. I was like, bro. They were like, they were like, no taxis run after it's nine. What? I'm like, <laughs> that's so stupid. <laughs> I was looking like the nigga on the little uh, the press ratio video. <laughs> I was like, what? I ain't was like, so stupid. I was like, damn, so nigga, I might have the. What did you end up doing? I wouldn't have even. Luckily, like one of the hotel shuttles, I had walked down to like close to the airport, and I just hopped on like one of them hotel shuttles that was right. just like happened to be like. Down the street by my hotel. That's funny. I just had to, I just dipped. They were like, uh, once it got off at the hotel, I just hopped out and just walked down the street. I ain't gonna lie, I would have, I would have slept on the street that night and just been like, yo, this one Luckily, for the books. You no, know it's funny. I was thinking about that because Austin, that shit opened 24 hours. Right, right. I always right. just been it's in open. that big party. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Straight yeah. up, straight up. Like, I mean, even if, even, even if you find a little duck spot, like, hey, look, I'm finna chill for. 10 minutes, I'm you know what I mean? I'm not sleeping on the street, Joe. No, no, no. I'm finna chill for I 10 minutes. I almost had to, but yeah. I'm finna chill for 10 minutes. <laughs> I'm going to regain my energy, and I'm going to keep going. Turn up. Me. I'm going to keep going till the sun comes out. This you nigga, know what I mean? This nigga was dancing the karate chop for three days. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I was down bad one night, and I had to take a nap, bro. So don't judge me. Oh, yeah. Don't tell that don't story right here, though, bro. I'm not. It was the I'm drunk not. when he was drunk. Yeah. With, with West. Be, be more specific. Oh, Wesley, yeah, see, that's yeah. your first mistake. Well, see, yeah. The West, drinking with Wesley is a whole nother story. Wesley, Wesley, <coughs> Wesley. Like, I, feel I don't like, party with Wesley. I don't. I'm scared to party with Wesley. Me. I feel like I drink a lot. You know what I'm saying? Like, period. Wesley, right? Wesley be on some other shit, bro. Wesley is a different nigga. Yeah, definitely. I've seen Wesley be a part of the disappearance of three bottles in hey, a night. Yeah. Wesley, you listen to the podcast. Next time you're in Jacksonville, man, hop on, bro. He was just here uh, two, wait, two weeks ago? I tried to get him on. Yeah. Oh. But Wesley lives a, a different life. Wesley be having his own agenda before he even touched down, bro. Wesley, has, <laughs> yeah, Wesley be on it. Wesley lives. Sorry, a no, different you say he's life. gonna have an ass eating tournament before you see all his friends, bro. Uh, Wesley, okay. lives. all right. The way y'all niggas looking, all right. The Wesley ass eating tournament. A different life. <laughs> I ain't saying all that. I don't I'm know what you saying. want me to say to that. All right. <laughs> I really don't hey. know what to say to that. Hey, Wesley, don't come on the podcast, <laughs> that man. That's what I sound. That's what it sounds like. <laughs> Stay I'm where you are. <laughs> Wesley might need to do a story time. You know Dead what I mean? Dead ass. Wesley, Wesley tied up. Hold on. Where Wesley live at? Uh, yeah, right. San Francisco. Francisco. That's where you... You remember when me and Joe was in it was in LA? Yeah, yeah, he yep, told yep, us, yep. Oh, we need to see Wesley. I'm like, nigga, shut the fuck up, nigga. <laughs> I'm like, bro, I know I'm not from but Cali, but thing. I'm pretty no, sure no, no, no. I'm pretty sure no. they're not close, nigga. No, here's the thing though. <laughs> How far is that from each other? It doesn't matter. Wesley would have made the trip. Wesley, Wesley, Wesley would have made Wesley the trip. Wesley would have flew his bro. goddamn helicopter. Wesley, it would have been bro, there in 20 minutes. I'm that nigga could fly helicopters. He would have been like, there in 20 bro, minutes. That nigga <laughs> <laughs> I told Wesley we was we was flying out to LA. He was like, yo, for real? How long y'all here? I was like, uh, Shit, we gonna be here like what do we stay three days? I think oh, three or four days. Yeah, about three days. So I was like, yo, we gonna be here three days. God damn, that's Six pretty hours. much. A, that's pretty much what uh, Miami. A little less than Homestead Miami area. Yeah. That's a little less than Jackson, Miami. Had I not told Wesley the day we touched down, thinking that they were close. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this nigga Joe like, hey bro, we need to see Wesley in San Francisco. <laughs> hey, like, man, I like, first of all, nigga, we don't have a car, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Hey, that was a night. I almost broke my goddamn ankle walking to Del Taco. He told, bro, you want to hear him? He told so me that story, bro. That mad. shit had me in tears. Bro, I, he was gonna, oh, he would have oh, left you. <laughs> I told. All right, so when you twist your Devin, you know when you twist your ankle, you're supposed to keep walking on it. Yeah. Because if you stand still, it's going to stiffen up. You ain't yeah. going right. to fall to the ground. <laughs> right. So this nigga Joe walks off the curb and just twists his ankle. <laughs> Bruh. And he's he trying to like slay down. I'm like, nigga, get up and walk. <laughs> no. He think I'm being an He think I'm being, a, he he think I'm being an asshole. Story. I'm sick as fuck and I'm drunk. You did say he did. And I'm drunk. You he were high too. And I'm high. Bruh. Why would you smoke when you, when you sick? 
What? Why would you smoke when nigga, you sick? Nigga, first, right when we got off the plane, this nigga Joe was like, man, we in Cali. We get some weed. I mean, granted, so that, we that do the, make sense. Bro, okay. we in the Uber. It's, it was a straight shot. It from was the, a, it, yeah. Bro, we was in Uber like 40 minutes. Okay. Joe telling this nigga stop every corner like, bro. Stop right here. Hey, I had to get it. On this when we got off the Uber, I had to get an Uber like a forty dollar tip because I felt God bad. Damn. <laughs> I was like, bro, you, I gave that nigga forty dollars. Even tell me, bro, what you was collecting <laughs> weed on the way to me, where you was already going. I think by the time we uh, let's just say <coughs> this, we smoked all day, every day. We was in <laughs> this cabin, and yeah. we was eating like the edibles and shit, like. Niggas was tore up, nigga. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> nigga and I was sick up. as a dog that trip, bro. So, um, <clears throat> yeah. So he get he walk off the curb. So he walk off the curb. Twist my fucking ankle. Nigga, yeah, nigga twist his nigga, nigga, nigga I'm drunk. I'm high. Now, mind you. Mind you. Now, I'm high, too. Uh, hold up. So I'm like, we trying now, to cross. Up. We were trying to cross this street. Here's I'm like, bro, thing. we shouldn't be crossing this street He's high. He's not telling the whole story. All right. <laughs> it's Tell the 4 o'clock in the morning. Oh, he never. Okay, you never said It was 4 time. o'clock in the morning. I'm thinking it's like the afternoon or something. 4 o'clock in the morning. Shit. Okay. It's four o'clock in the morning. Keep in mind, we were wearing oncoming traffic. Oh, we're my drunk, God. we're high, like bro. <laughs> when I twisted my ankle, it wasn't like no, like, <laughs> like no little hey, shit. Oh no, this nigga twisted. He said, "Hey, I'm twisting my ankle." <laughs> <laughs> and yes, you did, nigga. He twisted. He said, "Oh, help! I twisted my ankle." <laughs> I'm like, nigga, what am I supposed to do? I'm like, <laughs> it, was, it was, it was, it was a goddamn kid cutting concert. No, no, so no let me tell again, you, bro. Let me tell you how to shit. <laughs> I twisted my. Hey, look, I'm gonna tell you something. Speaking from experience, if you're out and you're high with these niggas, don't expect help. <laughs> I know I'm I'm pure, 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 pure representation of that. Do not ask these niggas for help. Nigga said, Don't ask any of us for help, bro. Nigga, Let me tell nigga you said, how nigga said, oh, hell, I twisted my ankle. Let me tell you how to share. I'm like, all right, all right bro. So look, <laughs> when it happened, I yelped. I'm like, ah, shit. Elp, look back. <laughs> Help look back. <laughs> and I'm on the ground, bro. Like, I thought my shit was broken, bro. <laughs> I thought my shit was broken. I'm drunk and I'm high. I thought my shit was broken, right? <laughs> so I'm laid on my back. <laughs> my foot is in the air. That nigga say, what? I say, help. I twisted my ankle. <laughs> <laughs> nigga, I saw it, nigga. Bruh, bruh, so look, I'm trying to be as calm as I can through this situation. <laughs> it's the first night. This we the first night? We haven't even been in LA two hours. <laughs> I mean, well, not even, I mean, it, what time did we get there? We probably got there at like 11, I think. Come yeah, on, around like four in the morning. It's four in the morning. So <laughs> I'm, I'm exaggerating on the hours, but long story short, we haven't been there long enough. <laughs> Nigga, I haven't even seen sunlight in LA. Right? So I twist my ankle. I'm laying down. I'm like, God, this is it. I'm thinking, I in the moment, I feel like I done died, right? <laughs> that nigga amp like, bro, I'm about to cross the street. Oh, wow. And, <laughs> And traffic is coming, bro. No, I was I'm I was like, telling you, I twisted my ankle. I was like, bro, I was like, bro, when you twist your ankle, you gotta walk on it. Or so it's what I was, it up. what I was Am trying I to do, though, no, no, it's not a lot. But you told but, this nigga that. But hold up, here's <laughs> yeah. the thing, though. Nah, here's no, the thing. No bueno. Here's the thing. <laughs> when it happened, I fell over, which is why I was on my back. <laughs> so at first, I was just grabbing my ankle when I told him, trying to put pressure on it, right? Yeah. So he looked back, and he like, yo, you got to you gotta get up and walk on it. I'm like, man, I'm about to tie this bitch as tight as I can. He's like, yo, you got to get up and walk. Like, Elp is like, hurry up type shit. I can imagine. It was cars coming, nigga. I can imagine (laughs) being like, no reason. We was in the street, (laughs) nigga. I can can imagine being like, somebody just walking by and seeing all this shit go down. I try to keep my composure, bro. It was cars coming. It's LA traffic. Hey, y'all was high as fuck. I'm like, bro, it's cars coming. Keep in mind. You got to get up, nigga. We going to get ran over, bro. I'm drunk as fuck. Like, drunk, drunk. So... I'm trying to lace every hole as tight as I can when I do this shit, right? 
He like, nah, you gotta get up and walk on that shit. I'm like, hell, bro, give me a second, man. <laughs> like, I gotta walk on this shit for the next three days. Keep in mind, this car is coming, bro. Yes. So I'm tying that shit up. I'm like, they'll stop, bro. They'll stop. Bro. <laughs> they'll stop. They no, they won't. Stopping. They will not stop. They were speeding up. I've seen a lot bro. of Cali videos. They will not stop. You get Dante Stallworth out this bit, bro. Bro, so I I lace my boot up. I tie my. Keep my, in mind, we're in Cali <laughs> at yes. four in the morning <laughs> with Marlon's hat on. <laughs> oh, yeah. Did you not see Xavier yeah. TV video? They definitely, they definitely press was, ratio. Niggas definitely got speed up on you. Did I bro. tell? Did I not tell you before I went to Cali? I got pressed for a Marlon hat, and we lay. So, we in we in L. A. <laughs> four o'clock in the morning with with Marlon's hat on. And I, this is my first time being in L. A. You know what I'm saying? So I ain't even thinking nothing. You know what I mean? Dude, we was wilding even going out four o'clock in the morning walking around. Yeah, like, bro. What was y'all even doing? Nigga? Trying to get Del Taco. Niggas was hungry and hot. I stepped off the curb on Del Taco, bro, and I'm twisting my fucking ankle, bro. And that nigga Elf was ready to leave me. What happened to No Man Left Behind? No, no, I didn't leave you, what, bro. I'm he did. telling you, he didn't. He I'm didn't. telling you, no, oh, nah, they won't well, leave you. He was ready. They won't he leave you. Ready. Oh yeah, they will be. They won't leave you, but they will help you and he curse you ready. out at the same time. So Come I'm from experience. Like, I'm like, man, nah, some blood niggas would have came. I was just <laughs> like, yeah, I yeah, would have yeah, definitely yeah. ran. <laughs> you, you would have to respect that. I would have been on your back or something, nigga. Like I would have been wobbling that bitch, like trying to get get across the street. And they got a red bandana on in the corner. <laughs> just one question though. I know you said like, uh, why didn't y'all just <coughs> go back to the hotel and like just just get DoorDash and Uber Eats? It well, was far. The, I don't think nobody was DoorDash early in the yeah, morning. Nobody Damn, was DoorDashing. Really? Nobody was door dashing because nowhere around us was open. You know what's funny? We thought Del Taco was 24 that, hours. That's what's funny because that was, well, it was funny and fucked up. <laughs> and y'all we even we Del Taco? The nigga, <laughs> when we, we was going to Del Taco and we found out it was closed and then he twisted his ankle. So we went over there for no reason. That's even worse, bro. Yeah. What's time everything closed the cat? I thought like, it, was, it was probably 24 hours over there. I thought so too. I thought, yeah. bro. Big and misconception. They was like, "Yo, the drive-through just closed." I was like, "What? What do you mean it just check closed?" Us, check us never closed, bro. Y'all would have been straight. <laughs> y'all found the checkers. Y'all would have been. Good. And the crazy. I think bro, it's rallies out there. Del Taco Ew. was like right across the street, the so I think rallies. we went to like some breakfast spot like an hour later. <laughs> That's what I loved about Philly, bro. Everything was twenty-four hours. Nigga, we was eating Chinese food at three a.m., bro. Like, I think it was on our last day. Our oh, yeah, yeah, day. yeah. Yeah, we yeah, eat Chinese food. I three, always yeah, have man. at least one bad experience when we travel yes, and you we do. eat somewhere. The time we went to Texas <laughs> and we took my cousin. Yeah. That we funny. went to that buffet spot and this nigga brought the tea into the bathroom. Bro, my stomach was fucked up. Other than that, and the I'm food like, was fire. Yeah, the food was good. I'm like, yo, I, I'm finna go use the bathroom real quick before we start eating. Yeah, you was wildin', bro. That was a that was, <laughs> that was a restaurant. Oh, you, I don't know, bro. It dep- I gotta oh, really, I really gotta go, go bro. Okay. I really <laughs> had to go, bro. Like- <laughs> I really had to go, bro. So, <laughs> so long story short, I'm in there trying to make it quick. My cousin bring my tea into the bathroom, and that nigga say, hey, here you go. <laughs> Here you go, bro. It's a room full of people. I'm like, what the fuck is wrong? With That's this crazy, thing? bro. <laughs> I told him to do that, bro. Yeah, it's so wrong with the both of y'all. <laughs> I didn't think niggas gonna do it, bro. I had just met your cousin that trip. We picked that nigga up from Pensacola, and then right, we headed out there. Out. Chill out. <laughs> I got some country kimpo. All right, man. So we like an hour thirty in, man. Let's get to these listening questions. The send in listening questions. Hit us up, mail at ariopodcast.com. It's mail at ariopodcast.com. One day I'm going to just synchronize, like, I'm going I'm to set a metronome when you see that shit. Okay. All right, I'll twist your ankle again. Right. Oh. I don't know what that guy doing anything. Right, bro. I was wearing some Reeboks, bro. Them bitches ain't had good support. This First mistake. Reeboks class. Wearing First mistake. Reeboks. Whoa, 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 whoa. First mistake. We will not slander. I ain't slander Reeboks. We're not slander Reeboks. They just had a bad design when it comes to twisting ankles. They definitely did, bro. I stepped you off that curb. Bro. <laughs> oh, oh. 
I don't think oh. I don't think the shoes you had on would have mattered. You wasn't looking. I did, yeah. Because I, I stepped drunk, off that bro. same curve was, with, yeah. with flip flops on. Well, here's the thing. Here's the thing. Here's the thing. Here's the thing. When we hit the curb, bro, I thought I had cleared it completely, and then we had a long slope. Okay, yeah, y'all was high as fuck. You know what I'm saying? I had a long slope. And you know what's funny? Because when we was smoking, this nigga Joe was like, "Man, this ain't on shit." They say, you know, both of us were dead three minutes later. Yeah, I definitely was talking cash shit. Oh, I was wow. like, man, you know what? I'm finna roll another one. We smoked like two, two, three joints black back to back, right? Bruh. I don't think we woke up until like Nigga, I was high at Complex Con walking around. Yeah. From Nigga the- Joe, we wake up, like Joe like, man, we about to smoke some more. I like, you about to smoke some more. <laughs> 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 nigga, I was at Complex Con walking around. I was like, all right, man. I shouldn't have smoked last night. I was walking into people. <laughs> yeah, I definitely... I was like out of it. I ain't gonna lie. Um, that's probably why he... Remember when you said he missed a lot of celebrities? Yeah. And he was standing next to... Yep, that's Trina, probably why. Trina standing right next to him. I'm like, bro, it's Trina right to your right. Who? Who the nigga? No, I was like, I said where? I said where? I was like, nigga, she I was, was looking over all right, bro, her. her I was like, bro, shoulders touching your shoulder. That's right so now. crazy. I would have freaked the fuck he out. He got the picture with her, but yeah. it's like, I had to tell her, like, hey, man, Trina, like, that nigga shoulders touching your shoulder, nigga. How you but, and then he, he, he recognized, he ended up recognizing somebody. You conceded. Said. Conceded. All this like, what? We were all going around <laughs> ushering that motherfucker, changed the everybody, all kind of celebrities. Like, oh, dude. I was like, why is this nigga ushering here? He like, where? I like right there. He like, I don't see him. All right. Yeah, you was hey, like, hey, conceited. Bro, I ain't gonna lie. Conceited. I was down behind like my vision was so blurry. God damn. Bro, it was crazy. So um I bet you wanna slander LA weed ever again in your life. I don't see how you could, bro. Like it's, it's, it ain't known for that shit. That shit had me tore up, nigga. Yeah, I mean, I will say I was high. Like by the time I left, I definitely was like, I recant my view. <laughs> Colorado next. Far AOP. Yay. Yeah, I'm definitely Colorado. planning to snowboard and shit. I ain't know about that. I was gonna smoke some weed. I don't know about the Oh no, 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 no. I'm doing some white. We gotta get, we should get a cabin though. That shit would be fun. I might about. do cocaine. That might be it's cocaine in Colorado. It's cocaine. Everywhere. I don't think it's cocaine yeah, it's in Colorado, <laughs> bro. I don't think it's in Colorado. It's somebody the weed. They were like, man, we don't even got that shit no more. Yeah, I right, think right, right, right. they low-key legally selling it's cocaine. There's a lot crazy. of white people. We're going to order getting some crystal meth since it's like legal out there, though. Whoa. Wait, how is it like legal? What, what the hell is like legal? Like, you gonna have I don't a, know how it's no, like legal. Like weed? Meth. meth is legal out there? Yeah, it's just decriminalized. Have you seen what? But we still can't get weed legal here? People on Why was that not on the ballot here? People on map end up know. looking like Grendel from Beowulf and shit. That's fine. I don't got. They got a. It, it makes sense. They got an opioid crisis, so it's kind of like it kind of weans it out a little bit if they like <sighs> don't throw everybody in jail off of meth. Now I have yeah, like for meth, they do do a lot of like um, rehabilitation before they do jail terms and yeah. things like that, which is crazy to me because you'll throw niggas in jail for a gram of weed and shit like that. So yeah. It's like people like legit born with like opioid addictions because like it's just it's so much out there. So it's like some people they just can't help but to take that shit. So it's crazy. Yeah, they decriminalized it. But yeah, let's get into these listener questions. All right, this first one's from Frank. Shout out to Frank, man. He said a question every week. Um, he said, "How do y'all feel about the topic of is it gay to bring your homie soup if he's sick?" All right, so we got the video. He sent the video link. I don't know if y'all seen this shit. It had a lot of people pissed off, but I'll play some okay, of it. I ain't gonna play the whole thing. <clears throat> I got you. Yeah, yeah. Like when I'm sick, like my niggas don't know. I've never had a homeboy. When you sick, when you hurt, I've never had a homeboy. Like I mean, the only like, time my bo- my boys came over, when my dad passed. You know what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah. Other than that, though, like like yeah, man, I'm a little. You know what I mean, nigga? All if right. They did. I'd be like, get your gay ass out of here. Right. <laughs> like this shit is too much. Can you imagine if you brought your nigga soup? Teddy, if what if a nigga brought you some soup? A nigga buying me soup. <laughs> <laughs> you were sick. If your homeboy. And your homeboy bought you some soup. 
how do you how do you buy it though? He would, what do you mean, how did he buy it, buddy? Like, okay, like, like, oh, like, if he told to pick you up something, that's different than if he just brought it over. Like, like, like you, I call you, I'm like, yo, man, how you doing? Like, yeah, if man. I, if you like, hey, my nigga, I'm at the store, you straight? I'm like, oh, nigga, give me a can. Okay, no, but if it's and like... leave it at my door. But what if I'm being thoughtful <laughs> and, like, I know you're sick, so I'm just going to bring some shit. I'm going to bring you a care package. There's going to be some swishers, oh, some nigga. chicken noodle soup. If I saw another <laughs> nigga being side. thoughtful, the told precious nigga. Here go, chicken. They was being thoughtful towards each other. So you say that the niggas is thoughtful. Say for cause these niggas be super close. When right. they be real touchy, feel up that's on gay. the that's a little gay well, fool. That's gay. A nigga checking on another nigga. Yeah. Not checking on you, checking on them. But if but, you say I'm sick and do you pop up with some soup, that's gay. Say for, <laughs> I was in the neighborhood. <laughs> right, got I'm you over a little it. Soup. Some boy with some crackers. Nigga, fuck at her with a cookie. With a cookie. (laughs) Now, this was pissing people off. Everybody was like, oh, man. Everybody thinks everything's gay now. They do. Let me just say this. These people, I don't know if y'all familiar with these people in the podcast, they're comedians. Yeah, right. I heard, I, know, I recognize the nigga voice in the background. Yeah, the, the nigga in the background, he wasn't on a camera, but that was Teddy Ray. Yeah, I know. Comedian, he's watching. funny as fuck. He on uh, All Deaf Digital. The nigga matter of fact, yeah. Matter yeah. fact, all these people are All Deaf Digital. They're yeah. comedians. So they're going to exaggerate on things to right. make you laugh. Right. Because we say some shit, we ain't comedians, but we say a bunch of funny shit, so... It's, I'm pretty sure we've said something like this in the past, like on the rebound. Right, right, right. I don't take this serious. Right, right. So I will say this. Yeah. Uh, we was drinking one night, me and Russell with some chicks, and um, like Russell went ham. Like angry Russell? This was well, well before Russell was drinking, right? Okay. That nigga had anger problems a lot. I thought you did. That nigga had light skin anger problems. I don't know about that. Okay, bro. well, you didn't know him long enough. So Russell Like I had these big ass Like (coughs) These big ass Plastic cups That was like This big You know what I'm saying That's fucking ignorant And they was like This wide Russell filled his cup To where it was An inch from the top Okay Full of liquor He was young Right (laughs) Russell drank Damn near The entire cup In less than An hour and a half so we that, was playing this game, that's, right? Is that standard time? Dude, I don't know. We're going through something. <laughs> Bro, no, no, no. We was playing this game, like this drinking game and shit with these chicks. And um, long story short, ru- like once the night ended, Russell, you know, stayed over the crib. You know what I mean? Because I'm like, yo, you know, you could chill here. You ain't got to drive home. Living room all yours, right? He didn't wake up. For damn near 24 hours, right? God damn, what are you drinking, gin? I'm like, yo, my nigga, I need you to eat something at this point because you can't die in here. Like, you can't die, period. You know what I mean? Like, that's fair. You can't die, period. Like, you my nigga, you know what I'm saying? I need to make sure you're straight, you know what I mean? But, like, I was like, yo, I don't know what to do at this point. Yeah. But I made a peanut butter and jelly sandwich. (laughs) I fried some uh, (laughs) chicken strips, you know what I mean? Cause I ate some, you know what I mean? Yeah. And cool. I was like, yo, look, whatever you want is in the crib, you know what I mean? I know you ain't got the strength to to <laughs> to, to do it, you know what I mean? But I got you. Like, when he ain't wake up, bro, I thought he was dead. Goddamn. Yeah. For 24 hours, bro. I was like, yo, Russell, Russell, you straight? Yeah, I- <laughs> yeah. See, that would been too easy. I don't want Russell to die like that. I want to be the one to take him out. That's crazy. I don't want him. To, I don't want nobody yeah. get that privilege but me. Let's just let's just say <clears throat> the people in this video is, is a little is being serious. Yeah, they was I think it's clearly ridiculous. joking. Bro. Yeah, clearly joking. But um, I would say this: if, I, if I'm sick and I tell a nigga I'm sick and he brings me some soup, I'll be kind of. I ain't gonna think he's gay. I'll be like. All right, nigga. Thank you, nigga. <laughs> I definitely wouldn't know how to take it because I'm a I'm a holla at my 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 girl first. You know what yeah. I'm saying? And if I wasn't in a relationship, I would holla at any woman I was talking to. I'm be honest, I'm sick. I'm keeping it to myself. Yeah, that's true. Unless I'm like on my deathbed, nigga. True indeed, but I mean, like, if I need something, I'm yeah. gonna holla at a woman before I holla at my nigga. You know what I mean? Yeah. <laughs> nah, if I'm Big like one. you say, if I'm on my deathbed and I really can't leave the house, and I, yeah. <laughs> hey Devin, on your way to the crib, man, go ahead and pick up some Pepto Biz, mom. Like nah, bro, ain't nah. Nah, bro, that's gay. That's gay as fuck, bro. You, uh, <laughs> you die like a you die like a real nigga, but I tell you a story. Yeah, nigga, you want me to bring you pink liquid, nigga? That's, bro, that's you. super gay. No, <laughs> I'm not doing that. 
All right, next question. This one's from um, our homie Psychosis. He says, after listening to the new bonus episode, Joe and Devin talked about gross foods. That's fast. But fuck. what are some <laughs> what are some foods that if someone brings over to the house, you might have to fight them? Mine are potato salad with raisins in it. Yes. And oh, corn yeah. casserole. What the fuck is which is cornbread that has the pieces of corn in it. And yes, those are both dishes white people make. I'm gonna be honest, psychosis. I've never heard of any. I think one either of one of that, them. That actually, that uh, cornbread casserole thing <coughs> that was actually on the list of the, the shit we was talking about. It was like in Wisconsin or some shit. Yeah. Oh yeah, I also heard when y'all was doing that episode, y'all was talking about turkey gravy. Yeah, yeah. in Hawaii, that's the that's the I side dish. I don't know why they just separated because turkey gravy is kind of it kind of the entree because going to turkey. Because hmm. nobody, I don't, I hope nobody just eats straight up dry as turkey. Do people eat straight up dry as turkey with no gravy on it? Yeah, I don't know. I never ate it like. Yeah, they do. Nah, I know. I'm so used all my life. I've been going over to my grandma house for Thanksgiving. Yeah, that's all I go to. When she make turkey, she make gravy, tur- turkey gravy, and you I put the gravy on it. And you I don't it eat gravy on my turkey, but I make a sandwich out of my turkey. I don't do that. I just make a sandwich out of the ham. Yeah, like I cut my pieces up and I make a sandwich out of my turkey. I just eat all that shit. Like yeah, I, I, I definitely eat Thanksgiving <laughs> dinner a lot different than eating. Yeah, I mix that. I mix oh, all the food together. I be, I be eating my shit till like the middle of December. Yeah, bro. I'm, I'm <laughs> yeah, bro, bro, that should I be freeze, funky though. I freeze, nah, I freeze, I freeze my plates, Ply. nigga. Nah, you literally I, don't listen to ply. I put my shit in the freezer, nigga. Freeze my plates. All right, bro. <laughs> that nigga remind us every year if you eat your Thanksgiving dinner two weeks afterwards. God, just I'm gonna be you. honest. Thanksgiving is on Thursday. Yeah. That food need to be out my fridge by a Sunday. Right. That's a, I think that's a good time. I'm not eating Thanksgiving food. At, and I think Sunday pushing it, to be honest. Let me see. Thursday, Friday, Saturday. I'm eating it Saturday. By the time I eat it Saturday, I don't really want it no more. Yeah, because like, you're going to get the same shit for Christmas. <laughs> I'm like, I can't like, wait till Christmas. You might get yeah. you might get one less thing for, for Christmas than you did for Thanksgiving. Like You now, might not get turkey. Now, I have frozen <laughs> sweet potato pie. Yeah, like... Yeah, yeah sweet potato pie different. No, no, he said yeah, frozen sweet potato pie. No, you freeze it when yeah, you freeze, freeze it, it, then you thaw it out later. I never bro. thought to do that. They don't, it don't like that. Like the, you, don't you ain't a real nigga, cause see, like when I get no, sweet potato straight. pie, like I get four sweet potato pies. That's not being well, a real no. nigga. That's just being a nigga. I ain't, when I eat my sweet potato pie, I like I like it. I like it. Um, f- refrigerated temperature. I like. I, I don't like warm, it. Bro. I don't like it warm. It tastes. It don't taste warm. Good to me, warm. Hmm. I like, I like it my shit fresh out of the fridge. Okay, you just. I set one out. I set one in the fridge. You know what I'm saying? Like you set one in them cake trays. You know mm-hmm. what I mean? Definitely. And you that set one clear. in the uh, <laughs> in the fridge. You know what I mean? Like every time, I, cause I fuck up a pie in a day or two. Oh yeah, don't say long fuck no pie. Bro. See my, I be That's a good one. See I be my my grandma be owing me favors, so Quarter she be hooking slices. me up. Since my aunt like passed, get, I ain't really been big on the apple. I mean, uh, sweet potato pie because I ain't, I ain't, I ain't had. Yeah, my grandma, she be like, "Baby, I'm, I got three for you." I like bet. Damn, grandma. that's. And my good, grandma bro. told me this year because you know COVID going around. She said, she said, no more than five people could be in her house. Damn, nigga, I'm up early. Yeah, early as Shirley. Yeah, what, what hype would say? What it is? First come, first serve. <laughs> yeah, that yeah. Sound no like. more than five people. I'm trying to go. I'm trying. I'm gonna try to convince my mom to make her crack sweet potato pies because that shits are great. And she only, yeah, but she don't make them like normal fucking months when you make sweet potato pie. Like one time we was begging her from Thanksgiving to Christmas to make them. Uh-huh. She made them and got there in February, in the middle of February. It was like, what the fuck? She oh, just fine. came over and she was just making pies, bro. That's I was fine. like, that's so. What the fuck? Okay, I'll take one. I take a whole pie. Her shits are crack, bro. I've never taken sweet potato pies like her. They like they 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 pretty much on par with patty pies, if not better. And that's I ain't never had a patty mind. pie. They thick as fuck. It's I like think a deep pe- dish pie. I think homemade homemade pies are better than patty pies. My mom, I would never. That's why I've never touched pa- one. Like, patty pie is decent for a decent. store bought. Yeah, yeah, right, it don't right, taste right, store bought right, at all. But anybody, but, to me, but sweet anybody that potato pie is yeah, not any, one that you do store bought. No, when Dixie sweet potato pies definitely taste hey, like patty pie got too much sugar in it. Also, yes, it do. You eat like one, you eat like one, one spoonful of a patty Bro, pie. They like this fucking thick. Your, your toes start tangling, <laughs> nigga. Fuck. They now, see, as fuck. I like, will bro, say my toes hurt. My aunt used to make them thick. Like my aunt used to make five five pies at a time. She give one to my grandparents, and one that, to my she, mother. She doing it this year. 
she passed. But my grandmother, she she trying to take over now. She been getting better. She 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 good. Wait, you say she been getting better? Yeah, yeah she good now. She good now. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Like she oh, yeah. only huh? get better. You know what I mean? Sharpening her craft. Yeah, but uh, she ain't have to like when my aunt was living. My grandmother ain't never have to make a, a sweet potato pie because my <clears> aunt <throat> made so many on account of me. You know what I mean? The first time I tasted my aunt pies, man, I fucked that. I was like, yo, look. Ain't nobody touching this. If my, my mom, germs, nigga. If my mom make a sweet potato you pie, okay, that's beat wild. The fuck up, yeah, bro. you would we would have jumped the fuck out of you. Nigga, my, but, my uncle, when he stole them pie, five pies <laughs> on a motorcycle. That's I ain't seen that nigga since. That nigga in the feds right still now. Still unbelievable that that happened. That, that nigga still locked up, bro. That's on par with when he <laughs> his <laughs> uncle stole his uh, PS2 or whatever it was. Damn, we're really just talking about that, bro. Yeah, bro. Yeah, that that same that. uncle, that nigga stole my damn. What he stole? Nah, I let him borrow Halo. Okay. Oh, yeah, I remember you said that. that he nigga. brought back fucking <laughs> hey, the right game. NFL Drive with <laughs> Peyton <laughs> Manning on it. <laughs> and that bitch was scratched up. <laughs> Y'all gonna stole everything for you. My uncle's a bad no person. Fuck, bro, he's an evil person. <laughs> bro, that nigga pulled out a gun on me when I was five. That nigga was a, he's a bad person, bro. That's crazy. That's why he locked up in the feds he's right now. He's not that bad, bro. He ain't shoot you. That nigga Amp probably he rejoiced when he got locked up. Bro, that nigga he pulled out a gun. He was like, don't tell grandma. I'm like, I can finally what? have things. You got to remember his uncle <laughs> only a few years older. Yeah, my girl go only a few years. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, don't tell your grandma. I'm like, bro, you just pulled a gun out on me for no reason. Hey, it's a gun. <laughs> <laughs> Nigga, I'm nine. Yeah, it's like, like a bitch, nine. bro. It ain't even loaded. It's I, was like in a, a I was in the living room watching Cartoon Network, <laughs> and I think I was bothering him. He, was, and he just came around the corner with a gun pointed at Nigga me. Nigga probably watching Dragon Ball Z. That's a great reason to pull out a gun, in like my a, opinion. There was new episodes. He was like, don't tell your grandma. I was like, okay. <laughs> like, I was going to bury it on the head. Nigga, you just put a gun out on me. Like, All right. Yeah, that nigga did, song, though. Shoot, that's respect. Let, 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 let's answer Jamal question. What question? Let's uh, what food? Uh, he said a. I never seen a potato salad raisin. That's on some white people shit. That is white. And corn, shit. cornbread with corn. I've seen, I've seen the potato salad with raisin. I don't even eat potato salad like that. Occasionally, I will. Fine. Yeah, because if it's the white one, yeah, not the yellow one. Cause the yellow one is like yeah, mustard yeah, base. Yeah, yeah. Nah, I'm good on that. But um, occasionally I dabble, but. If it's got raisins in it, you can bet. You better believe. That I don't make no it. damn sense to me. I will say this, man. No, I ain't eating no kind of casseroles. None. Unless it's a breakfast casserole. <laughs> My only one I will eat is, is, is green bean casserole. You eat a breakfast casserole? I like green bean casserole. None. You know what's in a breakfast casserole? No. Do you eat eggs? No. no he oh, okay, no. And mind. cheese. It's in that. He don't eat that. I'm a, I'm, I actually make breakfast casserole. Exactly. Like anything with casserole in it, I'm automatically going to assume that cheese is in it. Definitely. Which puts me off. Yeah. But when I make my breakfast, yeah. breakfast casserole, it got it got hash browns, Ooh. eggs, Ooh. sausage. Eek. I think that's about it. Damn. That's not. Huh? Yeah. You just so, load it up. It just happened to be called casserole, but yeah. Like, I'm going to be honest. Like, I make a dry stuffing. For things, Ruff, uh, stuff and disgusting. That's why disgusting? I make it. That's why I, I make it dry. Up. That's why that's I make crazy. it dry. So you got to think, stuffing is cornbread, beef. Not to throw up. Or or, or, or I mean, uh, not beef, but uh, pork sausage. You know what I mean? Yeah. My, my um, used to put shrimp in her shit. That shit was fire. So <laughs> cornbread, pork sausage. You put your peppers in there. Your little celery and shit. You know what I mean? You make that shit dry. That's what my mom make. It's disgusting. I hate stuffing. <laughs> <laughs> That's stuff and disgusting, man. Nah, nah I never heard of it. I don't like cornbread. Okay, that makes sense. What? I don't like cornbread. He from Staten Island. That's why. All that right, makes bro. Sense. That makes sense. What is that? How does that make sense? I'm not even from Staten Island, but how does that make sense? I mean, my mom from Brooklyn. She the best cook ever. But that's because my grandma from the South and taught her. Yeah, cook. there you well, go, yeah. nigga. Yeah, clear that shit the that's, fuck up. Don't even say that. Actually, you didn't even have to add that shit in there. I had her. to think about that. Yeah, yeah, that's probably why she the best cook ever. Right. But yeah. Yeah. So, um, cornbread is definitely where it's at. Is it because the texture is too dry for you? What is it? I don't know. It just don't taste good. I'm one of them people, if I hear if I eat something one time and it makes me want to throw up. Wait. What kind of you have? Like that old who, fucking... Who made you cornbread? No, nah, not that. It's two different types. Like, did you have the old I had school, cornbread old somewhere person? somewhere else. I don't think I had it from my mom. You had the, shit, right, you so had the yeah, shit made from yeah. like the old you school. You definitely got to have mix. it. Even Jiffy mixes. 
I don't know. I don't, I don't just don't rock with cornbread. You ain't bro. made no Jiffy mix that was fire. No, I mean, no, I've never made a Jiffy mix that wasn't fire. I'm just saying, oh, him, okay, like, okay, did you, okay, was it, was okay, it, it okay, couldn't okay. have been Jiffy. It's no way there. it was Jiffy mix cornbread. Bro. I want to say I ate that shit from like a restaurant. Jiffy see, mix is, Jiffy mix is like top tier cornbread, Yeah, bro. Jiffy mix is great. Now, see, then, my, see yeah. my mom, I'll eat like any of my mom food that she cooked, uh-huh. but when she, the only thing I won't eat from her uh, is from meatloaf. Oh, so why it, not? it just I ate it one time. She put the tomato sauce on it. I almost wanted to throw up. I Bro, came to the crib the other day. Yeah, I'm about to say I came to the crib the other day. I saw a meatloaf in the fridge. I'm like, okay. I know, know that's not my meatloaf. Is. I don't know. I know who meatloaf this is, but I don't know what animal is in this meatloaf. <laughs> this is um, right. pretty bad. <laughs> that's instantly what I thought. Right, I was like, bro. what animal this is? All right, <laughs> Had you even touched my meatloaf? I wasn't touching I it, bro. I would have been pissed I off. I don't touch any of your food because I know where you get your my food. My girl made that shit. Killing a nigga over meatloaf is crazy. I don't I don't touch his food because I know where he get his food and I would never. <laughs> Hey, no. let's, just, let's just say it came affordably to me. Okay, all right. I don't even... Whatever animal in that meatloaf, good luck. That's all I'm going to say. Hey, what y'all, what y'all want to try next year? Huh? As far you as... Had, you ever had ostrich? Yeah, I had ostrich burgers when I used to live in Miami. It was an ostrich form they used to... Okay. What, for real? Yeah, that, uh, that's right. actually pretty good. I seen a video of a nigga. He put an ostrich on a grill. You know how big an ostrich is. That's what's up. They got a George did, Foreman. That shit probably like eight hundred dollars. That nigga <laughs> had a head plate. Flintstone ribs. <laughs> For real, bro. That's an eight hundred dollar plate. Um, nigga, we try a manatee next year. <coughs> don't 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 ask me, but I actually do know somebody who get us a manatee, and if I can, y'all gotta try it with nigga, me. Nigga, that shit extinct, bro. You going to jail? Manatees ain't extinct. They on the extinction list. Uh, right. It's enough of them now. All right, bro. They in danger. Yeah. That's what that Only white they, people try yeah, to say be, animals, bro. That's yeah, the wrong right word. Here. here, go right here. Oh What's my. that? Bro, they put that ostrich on the grill. And it's the same nigga that cooked that camel. Yeah, he cooked all kind of crazy shit. Yeah, that nigga cooked a camel, bro. What is his name? Nigga made an omelet with... Ostrich eggs. That's, that's, that's a whole that's damn... A um, you know you need several eggs to make Yo, a that nigga that boiled egg. A, nigga boiled an ostrich egg and made a salad. That's nasty. Oh. Come on, bro. What... I wouldn't even want the ostrich. You see how big that shit is? That's I, huge, nah, bro. I think I'll want that ostrich. Put that shit with that Popeye bro, seasoning. Got ostrich for is like what? 10 foot? Yeah, so. 10 foot of yeah, greatness so. in protein. Bro, look at me. The ostrich leg. Yeah, yeah I know. That's crazy. Bro, that shit don't even look edible, bro. Bro, you can it feed your family. Be. You can cook a bird. It's a bird, It bro. don't look like chicken. That look disgusting. He ain't been to Australia. Yeah, clearly. They not, <laughs> what? Nigga, they in Africa. What? Yeah, I think you talking about like, Africa. You talking, talking about, about emu? emu. Oh, yeah. is and that's a and in Australia is a kangaroo. <laughs> you had kangaroo meat, bro? Don't you know what? If you have, don't tell. Me. Let me see if bro made a kangaroo, bro. Kangaroo on. I think you could just put any animal on a grill and he pop up, bro. When he made that camel, that shit did look kind of good. I mean, oh, he made. He a, did make a kangaroo. Did he cook that kangaroo? Smoke meat. barbecue kangaroo. <laughs> I'm this this nigga a menace, bro. Look at him, bro. Look, barbecue kangaroo trying it for the first time. That's Man, what y'all want to try this year? Kangaroo, nigga. Yeah, I guess hey, kangaroo, bro. Fuck that it. kangaroo that look kind of good, good bro. Spot, let's bro. go. I don't, I don't eat deer meat. I can do anything barbecue. <laughs> that be a little steak. That be like steak, bro. If I, if I anything eat. fried or barbecue. Bro, look at him hey. grilling up the kangaroo. Bro. Look at the title of whatever. Late night grilling kangaroo. Bro, a couple. You can't. I once told Russell, I say. If nah, that look disgusting the way he got that seasoned up. If they didn't want you to eat it, they wouldn't fry it. Exactly. I don't what? Know what that I don't mean, know what that means. That, that, that's, that could work in some cases, I guess. All right, man. Let's, let's get into the day need day ass piece of real niggas. <laughs> Joe. <laughs> Joe, for that shit he just said. But we're going to do, do uh, what you call it? Shout out? Pray John, shout outs? Uh oh. Oh, shit. You ready? Hold yeah, up. Damn, I got to get out of here, bro. All right, man. <clears throat> yeah, yeah bro. I missed it. Patreon show. Shut up, Joe. Ready, Joe? Oh, no. Not ready? Um, Pull them up on the computer. Yeah, you remember you sent them. Yeah, I got you. I got you. I got you. I got you. Drive safe, nigga. Yeah, I got to understand my phone. My phone, bro. All right. You ready? I got you. There you go. Whoa. Whoa, whoa, look I'm ballin' like a hooper, shout out to Black D.B. Cooper, and my nigga Big Bean, psychosis, 
I've been living a dream And we got big terror, riding big kings Devin, flexing, I ain't talking Devin Da Vinci Man, I'm talking Devin, flexing on the Patreon And we got banks, nigga Gave me a ride to the bank And we got heavy D Nigga probably heavy, for real But I been out here on the fucking grill Trying to make kangaroo meat last all fucking week <laughs> Nigga, we got you <laughs> Here we got you, Day Austin. I've been out chill smoking weed, I've been coughing. If I put me down in the coffin, and we got Anthony, and we got Bills, and we got, I don't know what around with fucking Anthony. Nothing. I tried it. So we got Sam, then we got OG Stud, Stomper, Devin Light Studs. Then we got Kim, nigga got straight. Devin getting shot with all kinds of strays. Cause he had to go in a nigga pretty gay. And we got. <laughs> Shout out Sky Dweller and King Joseph. Man, it's explosive. When I come through with the balls, I've been on the. Then we got Tim. Then we got Frank. Chris Tokyo. Headed to the bank. Jamal Shakur told me I was wildin' when I was talking about freeway. He was. But, man, that nigga ain't made my freeway top. I mean, friendly top five. You don't care what he say. Yeah, that, oh, Amp with the bars. <laughs> <laughs> and we got Adam, All Star Gasson, Bam, Chor, fucking Dawn. I knew the beat was going, you know what I'm saying? Oh, you, you figured it out now. Yeah, right. I had to finesse that shit. So I'm back with Bam. Duh, and KD Shooting from the three And we got Corey Then we got Jonathan And we got Trap Then we got Joshua Then we got Toph Then we got Tristan And we got Millie I've been in Man, Millie from Erie, Pennsylvania Oh yeah I ain't never heard of Erie, Pennsylvania Shit about to get eerie in this bitch <laughs> I just heard of Erie, Indiana I ain't never heard of that either. You remember the show? Who? Erie and Anna show. Yeah, I remember Erie and Anna. Yeah. And Chloe Hotline. Then we got Steven. Then we got Nico. I don't really like shot not Nico because the nigga talk a whole lot of shit. But we got Ryan and his bitch. And we got Dick. Then we got Darius. His hair probably is the jelliest. And we got... <laughs> <laughs> Jelly is that's crazy. Then we got Cameron and Paperwork Sam. Then we got Rand. Then we got Kareem doing his thing. Stefan, NTC, NDQ, Siobhan Tay. Then we got Earl. Shout out to Earl. Real nigga of the fucking week. And Keith. Hey. Then we got Slice, Bread, Lewis. And we got Alonzo. Always doing them damn. Punk ass uh, memes. That nigga do one more goddamn meme of me in the suit. <laughs> <laughs> I know something. Shout out Dead Stop Dev. Man, shout out Dead Stop Dev. Coming at your head. Trying to get a sneakers. I got a little bread. And we, <laughs> and we got Candace. That's everybody. That's everybody. Hey, don't mess around with Candace. Candace. Ooh, you know what? What? Praying Mantis. That do rhyme a little bit. Candace. Nah, I'm about to say stupendous. That don't rhyme. Kanye oh. would made that rhyme. You know Kanye be forcing shit. He do. That nigga Kanye's a force shit. Man, this stupendous. <laughs> this dude, he'll change up a word like in a minute though. Yeah. Complete. That nigga said a part of me. <laughs> all right, all right, bro. Just say if they didn't rhyme, bro. Just start over, bro. But, hey, but, man, why? but yeah, shout out to everybody on the Patreon, man. Patreon.com slash yeah. Ario Podcast. If you want to watch the live stream, they're giving away a hundred dollars tomorrow. Yeah. You know your Chappelle show knowledge. Hey man, y'all gotta get it up. Get it up. I would if if my phone was acting up, I'd go ahead and jump on that thing and take it from y'all boys. <laughs> just, <laughs> just to be the Grinch who stole Christmas. I think you would lose that motherfucker. Why you think that? Bro, I did some good job on these questions, bro. These questions not gonna be easy. 
That's fine. I know my Chappelle show. Chappelle show. Ooh. Nigga, I was asking him what color t shirt certain niggas got on their certain skits. Okay. Who remembers shit like that? I think I could go. I think I can go. Like, I got a a, a, a Pictionary mind. You know pictionary what I'm saying? Mind. I forget how they say that shit. I don't know if that works. Photographic memory? There you go. You know what I mean? Whoop. There it is. But yeah, man. If you're on the Patreon, man, Wednesday. Wednesday. If you're not on the Patreon, you're hearing this episode on Thursday. So you that means somebody. on Thursday. Hey, somebody, so you late. Yeah, you missed it. You late as a as, as, shit. You late as a date. <laughs> <laughs> Why are you trying to avoid skate? Just say skate, nigga. <laughs> But you late as a skate. That's what that nigga hype say. Yeah, hype will rhyme anything. Is it one time, skate? One time I said a rhyme, I said you old as gold. That nigga say, what? He be saying it. Uh, bruh. And he was acting like, like he ain't know where that came from. He say old as rose gold. That's what he say. Oh. He say old as rose gold, early as Shirley, late yeah. as a skate. Yeah. Everything he say rhyme. <laughs> that nigga is Dr. The Seuss. The countryest nigga ever, bro. Dr. Zeus in his prime. Shout out to Raw Hype. They still holding our equipment hostage. <laughs> They're holding our equipment hostage. Hey, you got 72 hours to <laughs> deliver our shit. But back to the contest, man. Who other pay, who, who other people on Patreon giving away $100, man? Come on, man. Talk to us. What should the next trivia be? Humana. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I was thinking Martin too easy. Martin's definitely too easy. I was thinking about Fresh Prince, maybe. Fresh Prince is, again, I would say too easy, but Fresh Prince did have a few episodes, like a few more episodes, like a longer run. Um, I figured out. I got to do a vote for it, man. But yeah, we're going to do it. But now. if you want to get jiggy with it, get jiggy with it. My wife and kids, you could go with some, some, some. <sighs> I'm just playing. I'm just playing. Hey, my wife and kids. Was, my wife and kids was good until they got that little kid, Franklin. Right. Once they got Franklin, it was ass. Um, but I'm just saying, you could do some black shows that ain't really like talked about as often. That everybody hates. Chris is a good one. Oh, great one, yeah. great one. But yeah, I, I um, I think about it. <coughs> but let's get into real niggas that we can. They need their ass beats, man. My first real nigga of the week. This is a real queen of the week. So I don't know this young lady's name. Uh, why did uh, you just play the video? She was uh, it was at one of the rallies for Joe Biden. So let's get into that. Come out here tonight. Um, it was important to you know feel the energy and be in the moment, but it's also a reminder to let them know that particularly 55 percent of white women voted for Donald Trump this year, where it's up from 2016, 53 percent white women. So while we're in a celebratory mood, it's important to let these people know that why we're here in the first place. Why was it important? A lot of people out here to celebrate, they're just telling me that they wanted to be part of this event tonight. Why did you want to be here tonight in particular? Um, because I was here in 20, 2008, I was here in 2012, and I thought it was just important as a part of the democracy. Um, I feel like as though, you know, a lot of people are thanking these um, swing states for putting us in this position, but I wanted to highlight that we not only have to thank Michigan, but we need to mostly thank Detroit. We shouldn't just thank Georgia but we should thank Atlanta. We shouldn't just thank Pennsylvania, but we need to thank Philly. Those are a majority black cities. And so it's black people who put us in this position of a celebratory mood. Nicole, thank you so much for okay. talking to us. And so hey, man, shout out to that queen, man. She came with the facts. One Definitely. thing, one thing, she got to put that mask over that face. I don't want to get corona, but yeah, put that mask over that nose, young lady. But yeah, shout yeah, out to her with the facts, man. I don't know if you've seen this. It's my real Yakub of the week. His name is John Rom. Okay. He's a uh, golfer. And watch, yeah, this, watch this crazy yeah. shot right here. I don't know if that big got sound. Hey, it don't even need sound for that. Look how you skipped the ball over Beautiful the shot. And I'm hoping I get to see a bigger pan to where it plays in. Oh. Look at it. Oh, my God. No, he didn't. Bro, that might be one of no, the. No, he didn't. So oh, look at this shit. He no, right. he did. Look how he skipped that bitch across the ward. It skipped, Bruh. five times. He is amazing. That might be one of the best like sports feats ever. Like he is amazing. That's crazy. Hole in one across the pond. He is amazing for that. 
If he don't win this shit, I don't know what to say. And this is the Masters. Crazy, man. I think that's it for my real niggas of the week. So I'm I'm I I, I called it out earlier. Earl is definitely my real nigga of the week. Um I had a couple more saved, but my phone is uh That bit went kaput. Yeah. What Earl do? Um Earl just hold it down, man. Oh yeah, shout out to Earl, man. He sending me some Marlin hats, man. Shout out to you for the plug. Earl man. got the package in in, in in the mail. Yeah, shout you know out to him for that, so. man. So yeah, shout out Earl, man. He the hat plug, man. Uh, next one is from DJ Larry. Says real good Yakuba of the week is Kyle Trask for beating down the Georgia Bulldogs. That's your that's your uh, QB, man. Give him a round of applause. Future Jaguar. If y'all don't know, y'all better get familiar with the Kyle Kyle connection. Keith, you know what time it is. You know what I'm saying. <laughs> Fuck Georgia. You know what I'm saying. <laughs> Alabama, we coming for you. You know what I mean? That that bullshit that 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 seemed Oh my god, that fucking hit. Oh, I seen that bit. Yo, I almost lost my shit. Yeah, that was crazy. I almost lost my shit. I ain't paying attention in Georgia. In the house I was yelling. <laughs> they wanted Georgia play and like break their ankle running a touchdown in. Um Or is that, that Georgia or that somebody else? I don't know. I don't, I don't know. know about I don't Georgia. really I don't really watch I honestly football ain't right seen them score one time. <laughs> <laughs> um, <laughs> I ain't see no scores. Um, uh, I am kind of upset with Kyle Trask. Uh-huh. With him setting up Kyle Pitts the way he did. Mm. Because for one, you protect your assets. For two, you got to know that's a no-no. Oh, he threw like some. He, he threw set him up over the top, completely across the middle, un, unprotected. There was a they were it was zone coverage. Scene was sitting waiting on the pass. Essentially, he just was a, a couple yards out to make a play to stop it. You know what I mean? So by the time um, Kyle Pitts touched the ball, boom. Yeah. Well, that's something he'll learn not to do. Like. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So. I give him I give him credit because he is still young. You know what I mean. This is his still, um, this is still his first year really starting. He owns the team. This is his. Okay. You know what I mean. But at the same time, that one there really fucked me up seeing it. You know what I mean. Yeah, he he'll get better, man. So I guess no, not future Jaguar next year. We either getting Justin Fields or uh, the GOAT, Lawrence, Trevor Lawrence. Ooh, that's who we need. I'll take either one. I'll take Fields or Lawrence. Yeah. Ryan said we need Fields, so all right. We'll take the black quarterback. I, I respect that. It's about time for another black quarterback for Jaguars. Indeed. Indeed. It's been a while since um, David Garrod and Leftwich, man. So we need another black quarterback in a bit. To me, I just like I, I, the one reason why I really do like Trevor Lawrence is um, he's saying been, he's white. No, I was just playing. Tried and true. I feel like he's 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 shown himself through various adversity. He got championships, I mean? right? So yeah. Either one, we right now we uh, I think the front runners, the Jets, they zero and eight. Yeah, and Jaguars one and seven. So, yeah. so if they, it was a start today, we'll probably get Fields because I don't know if the Jets going to do Trevor Lawrence because I don't know. I guess they give up on their quarterback. They shit. They they don't have a problem with that. History's the history shown. Yeah, they love switching a quarterback. Uh, let's go to this one. This one's from Darius. It says. Oh, this is actually yeah, his real nigga of the week. I don't know what this is, so let's go ahead and play it. Oh. Damn. Oh, I saw this. Yo, yo, which one? Can I get by? Oh, I guess it's one of these kids doing these stupid ass skits in Walmart and shit. Mm hmm. He was about to get his ass beat. Oh, wow. What the fuck, man? What's, what's going on with you, man? Can you get out the way, man? You see, I'm trying to shop. It's COVID season, man. We ain't got time. Oh. Ain't nobody got time for that, man. I think it's this one. <laughs> All right, so for one, a nigga with a goatee like that, you don't fuck with. 
I feel like that shit fake. The new acting was kind of weird. It was. But have you ever met a nigga like that? I believe he would react like that. First of all, I'm not messing with a nigga with a hat on like this. Right. A leather fedora? You don't want no smoke with him. Can I get by? What the fuck, man? What's, what's going on with you, man? Can you I get know away, a dude man? that you acts to exactly like that. <clears throat> it's COVID season, man. We ain't got time. What the hell I do? Ain't nobody got time for that, man. Get away, man. I don't know about you, but I'll be praying I'll run into one of these niggas that be doing these skits. Oh, oh, man. T-shirt. Oh, my God. T-shirt. Oh, oh, my God. I be, I be in the parking lot like, I wish I were running one of you niggas trying to the do The REOP skits. numbers would go bananas. <laughs> Let's just say that. Yeah. I be like, hey, record this for me. Like... <laughs> Like, oh, where your phone? Oh, it's right there? Uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> like, I see it right there on the show. All right, this one's from um, Nelson. Shout out to Nelson. He got uh, Derrick Rose's Real Nigga of the Week. Oh, definitely. I didn't see this. So, Derrick Rose is on a mountain? Well, never mind the picture. It's the message that matters. Okay. Do I have I to meant, read all this? What, like what said, does it basically say? He basically telling the younger generation, like, yo, look, you know, you gotta break the the cycle. Essentially, like I'm and I'm, I'm just catching the the because I'm drunk. I don't want to go okay. too far off of what he's saying. Uh, but essentially, he's saying you don't have to follow the same things. If you're gonna go through the gang lifestyle, at least look at it to see that the originators stood for something more in the community than okay. just they weren't they weren't for killing each other. All right, does this have anything to do with King Von? Yes. Okay. That's what he was saying and in response to, like, yo, you don't have to be doing what we're doing as far as killing each other. Okay. I believe in you. I believe, you know, he was saying that where he came from and what he grew through, he wasn't able to show empathy. He wasn't able to kind of show emotion. So he had okay. to put on that hard persona, and he felt like, in them doing that same thing now today is causing for them to, you know, have bigger problems, you know? Okay. So. Okay, I make, that makes sense. Because he says in this, he said, they wasn't with that killing bullshit. The system made them that way. Okay. They ended up with Chicago. I fucking love you. So. Yeah. Hopefully they got the message out there. Shout and I D think Rose. that, I think that he cares truly in the sense, you know, Hey, I don't want to see so many young people dying yeah. from where I'm from. You know what I mean? Like, I'm not taking away from what you're doing or what what you might have came from, where you might come from. But at the same time, you got to understand that's not what the originator, you know, that's not what the original intent was. And you continuing the cycle doesn't help things. Okay. All right, that makes sense. So shout out D Rose on that man. He a, he a real nigga for that. Yeah. All right. Next question. Well not question. Next one. This one's from Aaron. He said, uh, Ruya Kuba the week. President. We're doing this. We're looking. I ain't no foul. Yes, you're fake news. Bumps off. <laughs> <laughs> so here's the thing. Hey! <laughs> All right, so I don't know if you've seen this video. I did. And to turn around and say that with a smile on your face is yeah. hilarious. So uh, the news person, it was on. under hot water. He said he said buzz off. So he said fuck off to me, but he probably said he said buzz off to save his job. Right. Well, um, real quick, I do want to say earlier, you know, about the comments about Chicago and shit. You know, y'all got to forgive me. I, I, I forgot about the King Von situation. You know what I mean? Yeah, rest in peace, King Von. Yeah, definitely rest in peace, King Von. I don't mean to be insensitive as far as, you know, the violence that goes on. You know what I mean? Anywhere, anywhere. You know what I mean? Because yeah. that shit ain't cool at all. You know what I mean? But um, I feel you on that. Um, This next one, this next one's from um, Paperwork Sam. He say, free that innocent man. He said, Miami student... Arrested after allegedly threatening Senator Mitch McConnell on Twitter that he would bounce his skull on a sidewalk like a fucking sea otter. That is a new. That's a new one, right there. <laughs> Hold up. He said he was arrested. Yeah, he was arrested over a tweet. Actually, he was arrested. He got out because apparently 
it's one it's a it's under his first amendment that he's allowed to tweet that. So they right. know about it. So yeah. Tri- charges was dropped. I really wish Devin was here for this next the next couple of ones. But right. This one is from King Petty. Oh, okay. He said he got a future as his real nigga of the week. He says, Real nigga of the week, I'll save your future. Back at it again. So the headline reads, Future accused of providing fraudulent info in child support claim case. Claims he lives in two a two bedroom, two bath home in Atlanta and doesn't own any jewelry. He's so this smart. Is, so, yeah, I think most niggas, when they time to do the child support, they lie about that shit. So, King Petty, you got Future's your real nigga of the week? I got Future's my they need they ass beat for this. <laughs> Future got these hats that's supposed <laughs> to look like MAGA this. hats that says she belongs to the streets. Future got to stop this corny shit, bro. You're about to be 37, bro. It's, it's definitely corny. corny. Um I wanted Devin here because I know he will buy one of these hats. Because at this point, it's starting to seem like you're <coughs> better. You know what I mean? Like I just think he's taking advantage of the incels because you know they're going to buy these corny ass hats. I think he's just making money off. He just know corny niggas that stand him going to buy these hats. Yeah. So, yeah. But I don't know. I mean, and, and not, not even to say that he cares, but... The whole she belongs to the streets and making so much material around it is yeah. the same. It's the equivalent of you sending multiple texts or tweets yeah. saying you ain't shit and the this time, and that. yeah, the time passed on that shit. Right. So I don't know. They sold out though. I mean, of course. Yeah. My next day need their ass beat is YG. YG for these nasty ass shirts with Trump Disgusting. on it. Disgusting. They got Trump. What did it say? Fuck. What is it? Fuck face. And they got Trump with a coochie face. Now, I can't show these on the screen, so I don't know, bro. All of them are inappropriate. Yeah, they're inappropriate. I can't even post them on the screen. He got Every s- single one of them. He got tr- two Trumps. Scissoring. Scissoring, each other. greased up with nipple rings on. YG, stop stop the madness, YG. This is disgusting, my nigga. He got one with a Trump blowing a KKK member from the back. Disgusting, man. This your homie, man. No, who? Don't you love YG? Fuck no. All right. I said that nigga had one song that was straight. <laughs> that was straight. And it featured NBA Young Boy. Like, that's what? Why. I never heard that bit. Yeah, bro. Like, yeah, I never man. heard that shit. Stay dangerous. Uh, no, nigga. This, this, this was stay dangerous, mean, right? Man, fuck no. That's that's what y'all on? That's what you YG stand Chill on? Out, bro. Right, what's your daddy to ask me, bro? You, got you nigga. <laughs> you about to get your ass beat. Nigga. Calm that's down, what, nigga. That's what this is. Um, <coughs> but, nah, um, like I say, I can't pull him up, man. Uh, a, I saw this dude named Seb. He made a joke on- Sadie Hendrix? Nah, 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 nah. nah <laughs> hell nah. It wasn't no do all shit at all. Um, this nigga was making a joke about raping women. And he was saying, like, yo, you don't think I do these push-ups for nothing? And like, I seen that shit. They need to, that nigga, I don't know if this is extreme, but that nigga need to be killed. That nigga need... He yeah. need to die. He need. They need their ass killed. Yeah. And I then, beat, he killed. I seen that video. I know what you're talking about. he tried to come back from it, and, like, you still making jokes on it. It's insensitive. Yeah. Somebody shit, posted like, it, and, like, niggas was laughing at that shit like it was funny. Yeah, that shit ain't cool, Yeah, though. that shit ain't funny at all, dog. Yeah, that's the first ever they need their ass killed ever. Probably. I don't know. I'm pretty sure I wish death on somebody on here before. All right, this next one is from DJ Larry. He said, they need a ass beat goes to this entire tweet. So I don't know if you've seen this. So a young lady, she was on Tinder, and she matched with a nigga. And apparently the nigga was a little short or whatever. So uh, he starts off the conversation. There is no way you swipe right on purpose. She replies, you said you were listening to Kitty, listening to Kitty Cat all day in that picture with the fruit. What was I supposed to do? I don't know what that means. So I guess I got to see the picture so we can properly understand what's going on. He replies, I'm only 5'8". I'm sorry. She replies, I'm also 5'8". Are you trying to get rid of me? He says, nah, I'm not. I just know six feet or taller is required. So he's bringing all kind of insecurities 
that he has with himself onto her. Right. She replies, did I say that? Are you making a generalization about women's expectations of you based on women you've interacted with in the past? He replies, I just turn, turned 29 this, pa- this past week. And since 18, it's kind of a social, social thing. So I ain't even gonna read all this. So he just basically just talking himself out of the coochie. He's just being completely oh, oh, oh weirdo. As 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 every text that he was in the coochie was just inching closer. closer I think it closed closer. off the first little first little couple sentences. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I even on the last that. one, she was like, um, women. He was like, women have told me because I'm short. And she just basically saying, "Shut the fuck up, nigga. I'm trying to give you some pussy. I don't care about you being five eight. He was like, no, no, but I'm 5'8". You shouldn't like me because I'm under six foot. And then, like, she just, she blocks this nigga number right. on Tinder and t- on whatever. So, um, he finds her, uh, I think this is her, uh, Instagram. So, he hop in her Instagram, <laughs> instantly starting to start this conversation to back up. He, re- he says, it's kind of foul to admit that I have a point. She replies, sir, leave me alone. Wow. He says, it's just fucked up because you act like height doesn't matter. So she go in her own spill how, nigga, I don't give a fuck about height. Yeah, he says, yeah, it just didn't add up to me because I'm used, I'm used to women rejecting me. She says, well, I'm rejecting you now, but it's not because of your height. <laughs> he replies, well, I understand. It always happened. One of these one of these days people will understand. That nigga didn't want Gucci. I skipped over it. He pretty much said he's a he pretty much said he was a virgin because he said she asked him, do any has a woman ever chose him? And he said no. Alright. Yeah, I'm glad you skipped. So over he's a twenty nine year old virgin. Yeah. And he had a woman that was choosing up on him. He need to holler at Devin. <laughs> Learn how to buy that coochie. At Devin underscore da, underscore Da Vinci on. We need to do a video on that where Devin just give you tips and break down on how to buy pussy. That might yeah, be, that might, might be a good video. I I definitely think it could be. It could go a long way. Um, you know, some people out there that could benefit from it. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, he need to learn for the Da Vinci on how to I buy pussy lie. properly. It was a, it was one night. Uh, I had some homies in town. And it was like two o'clock in the morning, bro. Devin was um in the crib telling these niggas like where they could go to get pussy. Right then, I'm like, yo, what are you doing? He's like, yo, they said they wanted pussy. I was like, here's where you could go and get some for an affordable rate. I was like, what? You gotta respect it though. Very much so. You gotta respect. Very it. much so. Yeah, like, this nigga Devin, he's an encyclopedia on buying pussy, man. So if y'all ever want to buy pussy, tap in with I that like nigga. Devin. Tap in you with got that nigga any Devin. Questions. Bro. You want to know the lingo? I like Devin. <laughs> That's why I laugh when you said one of his sites. Yeah, bro. <laughs> this nigga got like eight sites. He's like, man, don't go on that site. Trust, I know this nigga. Like. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, that nigga, that nigga's an incel, bro. That yeah, he's he's gonna his uh his dick gonna be dry forever doing that, man. Yeah. All right, this next one is from Banks. He said, 90% of Clubhouse. I don't know why Banks hate Clubhouse so much, bro. I like Clubhouse. I do, too. I enjoy it. All right, this next one is from... Where is this one from? Oh, this one's from King Petty also. I don't know if you've seen this video right here. So it's somebody... I think they're delivering a heart, and Take I'll, a look at this. I'll let Cruz you see the rest of it. able to get the heart out of that helicopter... It was then handed over to one of the hospital's medical personnel. Now, as that person leaves the helipad, he suddenly accidentally trips on a metal plate, wow. falls to the you ground, dropping the heart. Others were quickly able to pick oh up that organ God. and run the helicopter. All right, so he coming off. It was off. then handed over to one of the hospital's medical personnel. So it's a, somebody needed to get a heart delivered for right. a transplant. So the doctor has it. Now, as that person leaves the helipad, he suddenly accidentally trips on a metal plate, Trips. falls to the ground. Drops the heart on the ground. Others were quickly able to pick up that organ and rush it inside. Hey, bro, it's just a little dirty. That's dirt going to somebody's chest. A little grime. A little bit. You At know least not in that one video with that dog ate the damn heart. Was you there for that episode? I don't think it was. I, I think it was just me, Devin, and Malk, I think. 
I, it was One Tree Hill. It was an episode where they did they dropped the heart. Let me see if I can find that mother. <laughs> Don't tell me they did that on One Tree Hill. Bro. I think it was One Tree Hill, bro. I think that's what Devin told me. One Tree Hill was a good show up until like this second season. I ain't never seen that bit before. Let me see. One Tree Hill heart. The first season was fire. I think it's the scene right here. I skipped it. All right, so it's just a dog in the hospital. Drop the heart on the ground. That's crazy. Dog eat the heart. Uh, <laughs> and of course, there's a black woman there like, oh my God. And he's just looking. I don't know who that is. I don't watch One Tree Hill. Who is that? Uh, I don't know. That looked like it was too late. In the, I only watched the first season, bro. And it's a good show, nigga. What? I said it was on. It was a good show <laughs> up until the second season. All right. Uh, oh yeah, this little nigga needed his ass beat for sure. Y'all need y'all ass beat for sending us these video every time he do something. Yeah. I am free. Hold up. But pause it. Pause it. Pray. Yeah. Here's why he needed his ass beat. Before you play this video. This one's from uh, Aaron, by the way. You know how they say singers go on runs? Yeah. That nigga ran a marathon. I am free. Praise the Lord. Why does he sing like this? I'm free. No longer bound. (laughs) I'm going to reserve my comment. What? What? My soul is resting. It's just a blessing. I'm only human. I don't know. I just want to hear that mashup. Hallelujah. Bro, this thing about to go cross eyed. Bro, listen to this. Look how this thing eyes cross, bro. Yeah. I am free. I know that nigga breath stank, bro. <laughs> that nigga breath. I know he a kid, man. That nigga breath like it stank, man. I'm sorry, bro. <laughs> this next one is from. Uh, I think both of these from Darius. He got Keith his his uh thing he they asked me. So no. we was on Clubhouse. <laughs> we was talking about the worst sneakers we ever bought or yeah. wore. This nigga Keith said he wore these fat farms. And he came up to us. No, no, <laughs> no, he didn't. <coughs> bro, these bitches ain't got bro, no the bag on. Bro, the I had was harder than them. Nigga, I wear food. I wear fubus over these, bro. Like you gotta have an anklet on to wear these bitches, bro. bro. Yeah, them, them. these some thug misses sneakers. Yeah, <laughs> definitely. Bro, you heel out on the shoe. Them the young thug. You gotta wear a skirt <laughs> with to match. <laughs> A denim skirt. <laughs> you gotta get you a Birkin, <laughs> bro. When you wear these shoes, you got no choice but to wear a denim skirt. Bro, I can believe a that. denim skirt and a denim jacket and the denim gotta be mismatched. And you gotta like. have a, you gotta have barrettes in your head, nigga. These sneakers is nasty, Keith. You didn't wear these, man. You're lying. <laughs> Say it ain't so. Keith. <laughs> If, the, Say it ain't if so. you did wear these, I can understand why you mad all the time, brother. Dog, hey, look, I just imagine niggas that wear them got them little stubby toes, you know what I mean? <laughs> like, even women, like, little nuggets. Like, what the fuck? That's crazy, bro. These sneakers. They ain't even give you enough toe space in them, in them little ass shoes. Dog, these sneakers is nasty, man. <laughs> Disgusting. These is nasty. Only, only room you got is for your big toe. <laughs> Let me show the camera, man. Look at these sneakers, man. Do y'all see these shoes, bro? <laughs> Look at these shoes, my nigga. These the th- air thug misses. Air thug misses. Air That's thug nasty. misses, bro. This is disgusting, bro. Keep you there wear these, man. Nasty 1.0. <laughs> this one's from Darius. He said, uh, he said, was this Ryan? Man blacklisted from Yellowstone after he tried to fry chicken. In hot spring. That's crazy, man. That is you, Ryan. Bro, you're nasty, man. Stop it. That's crazy. How you trying fry chicken in water? You can, you can have it. You batter that bit up. It's a hot spring. It's like grease. Yeah, yeah, 
Now this one is this is this is the last one. This is from Alonzo, bro. Now look at the caption. It says, "No, actually, this is from Nick. My fault, Nick." It said, "Damn, I'm about to get fired." <laughs> <laughs> now think about that caption. Right. <laughs> now look at this picture. <laughs> oh. <laughs> so it was a car. It was on. <laughs> no, no, no. I guess it fell off the damn thing. Whatever you, the lift, nigga. I would run out the job. What would you do? The car is so off the frame. It looks like it's abstract art in a. Yeah, you remember a, the Hot Wheels? In, how you either take it off? Right. That's how that shit look. Right. You see the spare tire under that bit. Nigga, I would run out. I would run out. I would run out of job and never come back. That's crazy. Nigga took a pic. He said, Nigga said, I'm damn, I'm about to get fired. I don't know what I Fired is an understatement. Nigga, I'm running out. Running out ain't gonna get you nowhere, bro. I'm holding the whole office up at gunpoint. Delete my shit. Hey, delete my social. Delete my address. <laughs> All right, you're crazy, my nigga. I'm running out of that bit. I ain't never coming back to this shit. Well, that's everything, Joe. Got anything you need to plug? Another successful episode of Random Acts Podcast. Yeah, man. Um, nah, man. Nothing to plug for me. I'm, 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 I'm constantly plugging my Instagram. If y'all don't follow me, man, like I say, I pull up. That's how I got threat, nigga. Hey, it's a promise. It's not a threat. It's all right. <laughs> Only thing I got to say is, oh, I am my ankle. That's what you're doing? No. That's, that's what you're doing? No. That's what you're doing? Hey, right? Megan, take before, your hands, before, take before your hands you off end, of me. Before you end this shit, like bro, I said, take your hands that off. ain't how shit went Stop down, touching bro. me. That shit ain't, that ain't how it Stop. Shit, that ain't how bro, shit stop went touching down, me. bro. That ain't get your hands off of me, bro. Y'all want to see Amp get torture racked? <laughs> bro, get your hands. Episode 327 will end with a, with hey, a bang. Get your <laughs> hands off of me, bro. So, All right, like bro. I say, I I'm, rolled my ankle. I'm not going to say did, it again, ah, bro. Man. I'm not going to say take your hands what? off of me again, dog. Hey, Amp. All right, bro. I twist my ankle, bro. I put I my hand down. I twist my ankle, bro. I got you, dog. I twist my I ankle. I got you. And that nigga was ready to leave. He didn't. <laughs> All right, nigga. He didn't. All right, he's forcing me. I want to stop. I want to end the episode. He's forcing me to podcast at this point. Can we end this episode? Let's end it, bro. All right, bro. I'm just saying, if we're going to tell the truth, we're going to tell the whole truth for nothing All right, but bro. The truth. All right, whatever. So help me God. Ankle, man. <laughs>